I sort of have a breakfast in front of me. Consists of a cup of milk and a brownie. I was going to make it, um... I was going to make it a protein shake. Uh, I forgot to wash the dishes last night, so... Yeah. I gotta remember that this is a marathon. It is not a sprint, so I will try not to go my absolute hardest immediately. And I will instead try to pace myself. Starting with Mario. We're going to do the same exact route every single time. Start it, we'll do Goombas and then Boos, Koopas, Shy Guys, Toads, and Bowsers. How do I feel? I'm a little bit tired. Uh, my alarm woke me up at 8, so I know that now, now I will now like wake up naturally as I play. And uh, I got like everything Every problem that I could maybe possibly have, I have kind of thought of a solution for everything. I'm going to start and then explain it. Three, two, one, go! Uh, I'm feeling good about, about the run. Nah, I'm not a not not too much of a coffee drinker. My breakfast kind of consists of something very sugary, kind of salty, and uh, it's something that will definitely wake me up if I pace myself with eating it. Just it's, it's a single brownie, but I do have a lot of food prepared, just in my room in my fridge, like. 10 steps away. I hope you two are both doing very well. Good job in being first for the ultimate run, Mr. Binglet Pawn. I hope you're doing well, Brass Roses, as well. Skip explanations. Um, we don't need to show those right now. Okay. Plants versus zombies. Should go for it. If you've beaten it a billion times, yeah. I'm already starting off outside of my comfort zone because there's Luigi in the game. And I'm more of a Luigi player. But that's okay. Since I want to get all minigames unlocked, I will need to land on Bowser, I will need it to be Big Bowser, and I will need him to play Bowser games. So I can't get too upset, like, too quick. Like, if I land on a bunch of Bowsers or a bunch of battle games, I do need to unlock those, so... be doing so. Bro. 
Ah. They ever play survival mode? I've never played Plants vs. Zombies. It's the only game I can think of that has the initials PVZ. Oh yeah. World record run went kind of horribly. Their game crashed like after doing three boards. They had to redo those three boards. Meaning they lost like two hours. Not saying something like that won't happen to me, but I am prepared if it does. We got this. Thank you, Brass Roses. I'd like to think so. Luigi. Jigsaw jitters can get unlocked early. Is this 48 parties? Uh, 6 times 8. Yes, it is. Oh. I'm screwing up already. Oh my gosh. gone better. Yep. 48 total parties. Um, then after that, I gotta do maybe an extra if I don't have all the minigames unlocked. Like if I'm missing a Bowser game, I gotta play on just party mode until I unlock them. But doing that many parties... Uh, you know, I don't think I should have to worry about that, but I do have a split ready just in case. The fastest board? Um... I think it might be Koopas. Because Koopas, like, happening spaces don't really take quite as long as others. Boo has that really annoying Boo train. Goombas has this, which takes forever. Toads has the roller coaster that takes forever if you land on it or ride it. Shy Guy seems pretty quick too. Yeah, 
I can I can lose a couple boards, I don't want to, but getting a very ideal time for this run is like the way I calculated it, it's best that I don't lose or I don't lose one board. I'll save around five hours at least. I can see into the butcher. I am I will definitely be losing at least one board. Like I can almost guarantee it. Either it be via fortune space or I just get so unlucky. Really? Or I get so unlucky that I can't, like, get a star when everyone else is collecting tons of them. I just need to not lose, like, three or four different boards. You will lose with DK and Toad's Midway Madness. Huh. How far along is DK's story mode? I think that might be, like... One of the last ones. Yeah, it's one of the last ones. That's good. That means I won't lose a board for a while. This difficulty is on hard mode, just because hard mode is what I know best. But it can be set on any difficulty, since the only, like, real goal is getting all the presents. You can get all the presents on whatever difficulty you feel like. I just feel mo most comfortable with the mode that I got world record in. on the top of the left. Yeah, I'm first. Not bad. I even have a backup controller if this one were to suddenly break during the run. Do not have a backup GameCube in case that just like blows up or something. I don't know about the hundred coins. I'm not gonna be playing the lottery. I kind of doubt we'll see the big boo because I've only gotten that once on stream. Not that it's not possible, but I've, of all the speedruns for this game that I've ever done, I've only ever seen that once. So, maybe. Probably not. I feel like the chance time will cost me one board. Like everyone's, or someone swaps all their coins with me and takes my coin star. I feel like something like that might happen.
Why oh, I would put that on Mario? That could be like someone's first comment before they even like look at my screen. Which I don't like disregard dumb questions, even though that one kind of is because my splits say it. But I have been known to like comment something that is on screen that I just don't like. I I don't realize right away. And there are some people that, like, didn't even realize I had webcam on. Like... Like, some people are just... They can be oblivious to some things. And... Giving them, like, an extra opportunity to... Like, see that. Even if they do comment, I don't mind. Like, hey, which character are you playing? Even though I have it on my screen twice, technically. And you can just tell based on my awesome gameplay. Like, all these baskets. Except at the end. Hmm. <sighs> How do you make the bottom hoops? I think it is a combination of RNG and luck. Which I'm pretty certain are the same thing. Because I've never been able to make the bottom hoops if I was just like trying to. It's always been like if it bounced in a weird way and then landed in a bottom hoop. If you shoot from the ground, it doesn't land in a bottom hoop. It just lands on the ground in front of the hoops. I don't know. I've never been able to get a bottom hoops consistently. I don't mind though. Top hoops you want to shoot at the top of your jump. Middle hoops, you want to wait till the top of your jump, and then when you start going back down is when you want to shoot. Bottom hoops, that is a very big mystery. Probably at like the lowest point of your jump. If I had to guess how to get bottom hoop consistently. Never tried for that though. Might be worth experimenting. I got plenty of time. The middle ones are worth the most points. The middle ones are all worth two. Wow, everybody sucks. The middle hoops are all worth two. And the top and bottom are both worth one. Stop. I do know for like novice players that confuses them because they always they would always want to shoot at the top of their jump. So uh I guess once you figure out how to get the middle hoop, then that's just the one that people want to go for. Uh, shoot. It is a new day. I need to, or it is a new week. I need to change the price on random questions.
Um, if you could become, if you could become a horror movie villain and just live that horror movie villain's like normal life, who would you become? That's okay. Not too much. He does dress nice. Like, it's just a striped sweater, but it's a very iconic striped sweater. Luigi, brother. see where any fries were. Alright, took care of that for me. No, Luigi took care of that for me. I am Mario. I'll also try to make it a strategy to where I always buy like a safety lamp or a safety crystal ball in case I ever like end up needing it for the last couple of turns. Start being a little bit more safe. <sighs> I have a lot of boards and a lot of opportunities to not win them. Yeah, I'll need to do that too. Like, last five turns, or onward, I should always spend the rest of my coins, so that if somebody does, like, trade all of them with me, then I don't lose the coin star. They'll win a bunch of coins in one turn, sure, but... I won't necessarily just lose... the star, because of one fortune space. I gotta get better at mashing. That's, I'm just kind of thinking out loud for that. Just I've seen people beat that in, with 26 seconds left, and 
I'm just not good at it. Don't know why. Yeah, just slime with faces. Sounds about right. Although, when has slime been a Mario villain or something that? Yeah, when has slime been a Mario villain? I know it has been. I just don't know when. Hey, DK got the first star! Congrats! Bullet Bill has a kid? I thought he- I knew he had a dad. Unless Bonsai Bill's his kid. Right of that one, Luigi. DK, come on, bud. Ugh. And a lot of big rolls. For like the very first time, I like all of them being in that red zone. 
They're not going like anywhere. Now a chance to land on battle mini game. Sure, I have 50 hours to unlock all the battle mini games, but the sooner the better, I'd say. Last five? Last five. I'm gonna skip it. It's still the first board of the first character. I don't think I need to get it yet. There's only one star on the field anyway. Especially with the fortune spaces replacing red ones, I don't need anyone just taking it as soon as I buy it. points. That's fine. Just gave 20 away. I don't mind that at all. Beat him with 10 seconds left. Curious. Oh, I read the grant look out loud a little too late. Actually, that's... I'm fine with that. I do not need the happening star. Thanks for the... Thanks for the... Oh, I'm still tired. <laughs> Luckily, I'll just wake up from here on out. But thank you for the great luck, Brass Roses. Appreciate it. Promise I'll be fine.
still tired too. Did you just wake up recently as well? Because other than other than get a brownie and like milk and all that, go with it. I woke up, turned on my stream, set everything up. That's where I'm at. Didn't really have time to stretch. Never did my morning workout because I would have taken too long. Just sat down, started streaming. Like around eight. I oh, gotcha. That's not too bad. At the same time I did. For me, coffee probably would be a good investment. Or like... Well, I don't like energy drinks, so maybe not that, but... Coffee or tea or something. My brother's gonna buy me a pizza tomorrow. So that I don't have to like stop and make food. And I had my. Um, I was gonna eat Subway yesterday, but I was out for a while and I ended, ended up eating with some of my friends. So I do have a sandwich ready to go. So all the time it would take me to make food is kind of gone, since a lot of my food will be made for me. Which I like. Yeah, I, I talked with my brother about this before I went and visited my friends yesterday. Around the 25 hour mark, or after I've completed the story mode with five characters, I will have been up for 25 something hours, so that's when I'm going to take a very slight nap. I cannot pause the timer, so it will have to be quick. My brother said that he's going to make sure that I wake up. I'll have my alarm try to wake me up, but knowing me, that doesn't always work. So I have insurance. Afterwards, as soon as I would be woken up by him, he said he's gonna buy me some pizza, maybe some like wings, some kind of food that would sustain me for a while. Something I'm fine with eating cold if it gets to that point. But yeah, he's like my safety net so that I don't sleep too long. Yeah, it is nice of him. Because Nate and Naps do not go well together. Even if I sleep in a very uncomfortable position or spot, my naps, like in the afternoon, are just me falling asleep in the afternoon. And sleeping for like six hours of that day. So if I'm asleep for six hours, then yeah, the run would be ruined.
I'm usually too tired to notice. Uh, but I think when I'm woken up, I can get, like, cranky. Because there are times in the past when I've asked Brett to wake me up for stuff not as important. And he's refused to. Which I always... Always used to confuse me, but... If I'm anything like my dad when I tried to wake him up in the past, then... Yeah. I would leave me asleep, too. It's too early to function and to realize what I'm saying is probably not very nice. If I am like that, he's really biting the bullet today. Or tomorrow, I guess. Middle of pouring that. Oh no. Okay. We'll tie for the coin star. But I still won. That would have been that could have been a really awkward start. Oh, let's not do this again. I never check my Discord. I appreciate everybody's well wishes in the in the Discord. Don't worry. My health will come first. Oh, 
I will not try to push it too hard, but I will try to push it. But me being alive is more important than me finishing this run. First split done. Very, very good average time. Goomba's Goomba Gritty Gala. I was thinking about doing, I was thinking about turning saving every turn on, so that if my game crashed from Manta Rings, that I would be safe. I'll turn it on about, like, partially through. I don't think I need to turn it on right away. But since it has happened in the past, I'm not going to rule that out as, a, as something that won't happen today. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, because what happened in the world record run was their game crashed after completing a few boards and they had to redo three or four of them, which is why it took 50 hours. Partially why it took 50 hours. Because they had lost like. <laughs> Runs dead. <laughs> There's not a lot that I would do if, if when it comes to like No, I phrased that wrong. A lot would need to happen for me to want to reset. Even though this is still the first board, there's no way I'm resetting now. This minigame will always be irritating, but not reset worthy. thing he could have gotten though. I need a five. Whew. All right. Yeah, me neither. There will be a point in the run where I do start using... I start turning save every turn on. Um, I'm not going to take that risk yet. I don't believe you can. I think the last two chips were a 3 and a 5. 
So Goomba would have gotten 49, and I would have gotten 51. Another thing I haven't checked, if I get... Like a world record for just doing one story mode, I wonder if that actually counts towards, or I wonder if I can actually submit that as like a new world record run for hard mode. Never check that. I'd assume so, because I did... I would technically finish a hard mode, and... From the proper start point, and I would finish it at the proper ending point. That's if that happens. Party Yoshi? What's up, bud? Yeah, I think it could happen, to be honest. I'm not ruling that out. It's probably going to be just hard mode that I play each board on. So that's just, you know, technically eight different hard mode runs. I'd have to do the math for, like, any run after Mario's, but... Could happen. It's not, um, it's not impossible. There we go. I disagree with that. Come on, DK, you push me. today, or for this run only, will only be Bev Reminders. Because... Don't have... I mean, I have water on me, but I'm not gonna, like, overdo it. I don't need to spend my entire run's wanting to pee. Dang it, dude. I think Boo's off.
another mega. Darn. Also a mega. Frick. Just not good at guessing right now. Excuse me. That was a really good time. For my first attempt, that was really good. I need to land on battle games and stuff. Eventually. I'm really 
spike and these low rolls, I'm good. Don't get a Mega, please. Not this time. Actually, I mean, all both of them suck. <sighs> yeah, she's gonna take use the mini mushroom to go right. No, that's not good though. Use the super mega. Probably won't turn it on. Our first battle mini game. I should probably write down which ones I unlock. Where's that pen? Don't see it. Well, all right. Remember, it's chain shop. DK, you sure? IDK. <laughs> Yoshi, okay. he is over here. There we go. I've moved less than 10 spaces in 4 turns. Oh! Yoshi went down. I guess the star is down, so... Sort of makes sense. Perfect spot. 
Boondog. Baby looks so tired. The trick might be to doing the max height jump at the same time as them. DK almost lost right there. Get a big Bowser. Nah. Oh, that's actually really good. That is very good. Oh, that's very good. She turned Pink Boot back on, and he can't get the star. Less than five spaces in six turns. Uh, I mean, you kind of technically could. If you land on, like, a party space and end up right back where you were. like no shops or anything interesting in between that could happen yeah she's such a bro I like bro she Okay, they all suck. Lol. Wow. You maybe could in Super Mario Party. Choose Bowser as a playable character. Other Mario parties, no. Correct. Party. Although rolling negative three coins for like six turns in a row, that'd be enough to make you rage quit. Wow. Big. No. 
taxes again. I played Superstar Saga, but that was the only one. Wonderful game. I love that universe. But... Just never tried the other ones. Not Luigi. stand a chance. I would have liked to have played partners in time. That one looked pretty cool. Party! What's up, Yoshi? Oh, you're leaving? Alright. Kind of rude, but whatever. If they're anything, if the later games are anything like Superstar Saga, then I would love to play them. Those were very, very wonderful games. Or that was a very wonderful game. Him into it. Sorry, sweet boy. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about that one. Don't you get to play as Bowser in that in Bowser's Inside Story? Really dark for Mario. Man. Lemon, thank you. Alien invasion and time travel. Those aren't typical Mario themes. Don't worry, Lemon. I'm putting my health above anything else. So I will only, like... I will stop if I feel like I need to. Yeah, today's, like, one of the first days in a while I didn't just wake up naturally kind of woke up with the sound of my alarm 
which hasn't happened in a while. But I kind of needed to do that so that I could wake up tired, and then throughout the day, I'll get more awake before I get more tired. Toe Town completely abandoned. Beanville was like bomb the shit out of. I know that's not the name of the actual town, but Beanville or whatever it was called in Superstar Saga was like attacked and completely demolished. Also, not a very pretty sight. Keep me in my thoughts. Thanks, man. Alright, if I... If you were to watch all of my crazy, crazy run, I think you'd be even crazier than I would be. I will be taking a nap, like, in the middle of the run. So that I don't just explode on all of you. So if you were to watch my entire run, you'd even watch the part where I sleep for an hour and a half, or whatever, however long it takes. That would be bonkers. That uh, is that the one with the evil Princess Peach, or was that Paper Mario? I think it was Paper Mario. Take my coins already. The only one with any. I don't think I asked out loud, but I did have a question. Are you? Uh, when are you working? Is it like now or soon? Let's go Big Bowser. Nobody has anything to lose, but let's go Big Bowser. No. Damn, taxes again? Two hours, I gotcha. I am prepared for like 90% of possible disasters when it comes to the speed run. Yeah. 
Stuff like spontaneous meteor showers and power outages, I have not prepared for. Thanks, Luigi. But like, bathroom breaks, it's minigames like this where I'll take restroom breaks or get food. I have an alarm and a brother to wake me up from my nap whenever I take it. You walked all the way around me to pick the wrong food item, Luigi. Cones and dogs. Nuclear fallout? Um, uh, not prepared. Soups and cones. Yeah, that was not gonna happen. The run would literally die a lot more than just that. <laughs> Easy peasy. Yeah, zombie apocalypse. I am kind of, well, I'm not really that prepared for it, to be honest. I'll be one of the first ones gone. Um. The run would liter. The run probably wouldn't literally die, but I would. Oops, well. Didn't really want to go this way. But, that's okay. Bowser's Bigger Blast. I already got that. I'm not dead yet. I probably couldn't even attack a real life person that was trying to kill me. Like, he's out of self defense. I think it would, if it would come down to it, I'd be like, well, what if they actually have a soul? And then a zombie would eat me as I was contemplating it. Like, they're just misunderstood. That's my favorite thought about, like, the zombie apocalypse. There will be, like, a group of people protesting, like, stop killing zombies. They're people too. Zombie rights activists. I wouldn't be one of those people, but I probably could not bring myself to kill a zombie. Or, like, swing anything in anybody's head. Because there'd still probably be a part of me, like, saying, what if it's just a big prank? What then? Then I will have just murdered a guy dressed as a zombie. He did very well at convincing me, but I would still have murdered him. I have 59 coins. Now I have 65. But yeah, I have Brett waking me up in case I need... Or in case I don't wake myself up with my alarm whenever I take my nap. Brett will order me food. Well, for both of us. But he'll order food so I don't have to pause to make my own. Um, restroom breaks so I'll just take during minigames I can throw. There will be a time when I just, like... Stand up and stretch. Probably won't be on cam for that, but I'll do it so that my 
health doesn't deteriorate at all. I've thought of most things that can go wrong for staying up for 50-ish hours. Okay, guys, you got us. Stop pretending now. It took Hero to watch one of his friends get stabbed by a bunch of spears, and then, even then he could hardly believe it. I think he was still questioning if it was really real at that point. Yoshi's... No, I did not. I must have missed it. I think the thing that separates me from Hero is that he had the guts to smack somebody on the head with a blunt object that was an actual human being with living living person qualities. Me? I don't think I could ever do that. And one of the presents that I need is a minigame present, which requires me to get, I think, more than eight seconds in this minigame. Which is why I went all out with that one. Well, not really all out, because I could have done a lot better than that, but that's why I did as well as I did. I'm hoping to find some glitches or some something to, like... Clip said to send a glad Jonas. Maybe we'll get DK T posing again, or somebody else T posing again. This was a really good board, by the way. Only two battle minigames. That was it. That is, in fact, ass. Oh yeah, it's something I never got around to. I'm supposed to make sub badges, or think at least think up the idea of what I want my sub badges to be. That was a really fast storm. I used to question Lemon's emotes, like where he got them, how he found them. Now I'm just like, oh yeah, a dumb thick booty? Sounds about right. Sushi Uwu, that's just, just like, that's his staple without being his emote. Lemgasm, a classic. But capital D colon Spyro, that's new, but not unsurprising. Monka Sloth. <laughs> Genius. Oh. 
hype sign. This is a picture of an alien <laughs> on a caution tape. Kind of surprised we, like, all got hyperscape emotes. I watched one hyperscape stream, realized it was a battle royal, so I didn't watch it anymore after that, but... Got, like, a dozen emotes just from that game. I'm gonna go for piano. Or not. Like, I, I just don't play Battle Royals. I don't know if it's a bad game. I doubt it is. Are we gonna do this, Spoo? Let's do this. Yeah. First to get a violin wins. More like vile win. Ah ha ha. Is that a is that a violin or a cello? Music lore people? Can I get a confirmation? can't, like, actually tell the size. Limits is violin. Oh, well. Violin. Alright, two confirmations. Violin it is. Cello is... Bigger. Well, I knew cellos were, like, enormous, but they're on a card, so I couldn't tell which one's, like, which. But, yeah. I know they have, like, a similar appearance, but I don't know how they individually look. But low is bigger and have a butt thickness. Yep. Sure, what a neck rest, or that neck rests existed. Makes sense for a cello, or not a cello. Makes sense for a violin. That's actually not the one I wanted to pick, but all right. Like a mini game like this, I would never, I never would have speed run this game if that were the thing. Like if I had to redo the entire boo board if I lost that mini game. Yeah, there's. I would not have done this at all. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, 
Thank you for that quote. That's fun. <laughs> Collector of lore. I don't know if that's... Brass Roses, did you put that for exclamation point brass, or did, was that just not changed? Can't remember. I could see you putting that from like a World of Warcraft kind of thing, but... You did, okay. Cool, I was right. Yeah, that sounds like wow. I'm gonna burst three times in a row. Is there prize money involved in this, or just bragging rights? There is just bragging rights. But, I could put it on my resume, that I have a world record. Which will in turn earn me, probably not, some uh, prize money. I don't think that's true. I don't think jobs are really looking for world record holder in a video game as part of their, like, team. Oh, I didn't see where I spawned. I don't know how to get there. Ow. Instantly ran into a wall. Where are you going, Yoshi? Yo, what's up, DK? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it's true. I never thought about, like, a job in video game development, though. Except in, like, voice acting, but... I don't know if that translates well. Hey guys, I have this world record in Mario Party 4. Actually, two of them. And I want to voice your indie game. Mega? Thank you. I'll be crushing you next turn. So I appreciate that. I mean, it couldn't hurt. I don't think it would ever hurt to say, I have a world record, you guys. Or I'm a former world record holder, in case anyone ever beats it. I'm sure he has two happening spaces. With factual proof. Well, oh, factual was the right adjective for that sentence, but... With proof. Was 
what's his name now? Dave Bowser, the new CEO. I know it's not Reggie anymore. Bet he doesn't have world record in the Mario game. Other than making it faster than anyone else. Actually, they're not in charge of making the video games. They don't even have that. I'm coming, Waluigi! And you too, DK! Got them all. Ooh, yeah. And I'll take more coins from him with this. I <laughs> got a three stock. Yep, smacked each and every one of them. I did it all with Mario's up taunt. No, he doesn't have a taunt where he grows anymore. I did it with Mario's melee taunt. Come on, Yoshi. In three turns, he's landed on three different happening spaces. And get another one next turn. So yeah, I don't know what your new main is. You said you switched it again from Mewtwo. But uh... I mean, I did fight your Mewtwo. But not your... Well, I guess I did fight your new main. I just don't know what it is. Who did you clap me as? Knowing Lemon and the, like, frequency of his mains, it was probably a sword fighter. It's like, that's 80% of your former mains. I think Mewtwo is the one that breaks that rule. Um... Yeah, you've had Lucina, Young Link, Hero. Although you did have Yoshi and Palutena, so maybe not. Disjoints. I don't know if his tail would count as a sword. It swings like a sword. Or it has the range like a sword. It's not a sword here. Um... Why 
can't I think of like anybody that you played as. Lost. Um. What kind of characters are in the game? It wasn't Sonic. It was not DK. It was not Yoshi. It was not Mario. I think he played against uh, Waffle as Peach or Daisy. Unless that was Waffle who played as seated one. As long as you don't camp with Sonic, I don't I don't care. Just don't be like a rambunctious camping prick. Duck Hunt, who also sucks and is extremely campy. I don't think that's your playstyle. Oh. Ooh, good debate. Is this is this person a top tier character? Like the like the S tier of top tier characters? I remember who I fought as Dark Samus. I just wanna confirm. Okay. I could never, I could never get good with Snake. I feel like I'd blow myself up too much. But yeah, that's, I remember facing Snake as Dark Samus. Especially at the end, that was kind of funny. And the way that match ended, I didn't technically win, it's just you lost. I want to get a new record. to make sure I get this present. Kinda sad I used my big brain uh, piranha plant move that I picked up. That's like one of the first things I did. Because now that's just something you're gonna expect. But I mean, that's how I practiced and got good with piranha plant. 
or at least decent. I don't know if I'm good with it yet. Going back up. Zoner fighters kind of bonkers. A little bit. I feel like Snake has the option to be more campy with it, though. Piranha Plant, you get Patui and... Uh, stretchy Boy. But you'd still have to be more in your face. This gameplay. Snake did us. I feel like you'd get confused about which C4 is yours. You'd accidentally blow yourself up. That's partially why I'm okay with not maining Snake. Let's play a new mini game. C4 is an option. I thought C4 is pretty integral. Intrig integral? Integral? I feel like C4 is pretty important to uh, Snake's, like, gameplay. Whether it's planting it on somebody and then, like, doing a back throw, or just, like, having an entire platform just not be accessible unless you want to get blown up. I'd more call it a necessity for Snake. By DK. I love Coca Cola. Cannot agree. I used to. I used to like Coke Vanilla. But I'm kind of done with soda. The only time a stranger has ever talked to me about the future of my health is when I got a large vanilla Coke at Wendy's. Because it was taking me like 15 seconds to fill the entire thing up. The guy was obviously very annoyed. I forgot what he said, it was like, something about my teeth. It's like, you know what, like, drinking all that soda does to your teeth, right? Like, yeah, but it's, it's so good. <laughs> and that was not the decision to make me stop drinking soda, it didn't even, like, phase me. Because I do honestly miss Vanilla Coke. But I thought it was more funny than something I'd ever take into consideration as advice from a stranger.
Because, I mean, I know, like, drinking soda is bad for you. I know smoking is bad for you. I'm... I don't need someone else to tell me that. I don't smoke. I never have. And I... I mean, I used to drink soda. I did stop because it was bad for me. But I don't need you to tell me that. It's not like I don't already know that. I'm not, I wasn't going to turn to this guy and go, Shit, really? But I like my teeth. I guess I'm going to dump out what I just took 15 seconds to fill. And take your advice, person I've never met before in my life. Thank you for saving me. No, you tell a smoker, hey, did you read that Surgeon General's warning? They're gonna be like, shut the hell up and mind your own fucking business. I'm a little bit kinder, and I won't say that to a stranger about my soda drinking. But I mean, it could have ended worse. I don't, I don't know what to think about milk, because apparently milk is, like, good for you, but eating a bunch of cheese is really terrible for you, but eating yogurt is fine. Like, they all... I know they're all made differently, or have different things in them, but they all come from the same place. True, it's humans that made it, like... A thing. They say it makes your bones stronger. And it is now an important food group, but... I don't know. Dairy and sugar is the best tasting combination. Add, like, peanut butter cups, or, like, M&Ms. Depending on how you view the word better, it makes it better. That's something I need to, I need to give up, too. I'll tell myself to go on a diet, and then I do for a little bit, and then I'll look or think about ice cream. I'll look at or think about ice cream and then my diet's over. Just like that. For me, I can no longer eat ice cream without stuff in it. Plain chocolate milkshake is just boring. I need Oreo milkshake. I need chocolate ice cream with peanut butter or chocolate chips in it. Damn you, Ben and Jerry. Salt is something I need to work on too. A little, little bit better at handling like salt management than I am sweets, but I'll get myself like a bag of sun chips during a diet, and it's justified by saying, "Look, it says heart, heart healthy on it." It's a bag of chips does not matter what they're called, it's potato chips. Or, I guess, corn chips. But, I mean, still, they're not great. Heart healthy means it's only healthier than other chips. That doesn't necessarily make them good. Or good for you. 
peanut butter ice cream is the best indeed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm 24? Yeah. 24. Still don't really understand what organic means. As far as I can tell, all organic means is twice as expensive. Twi tastes the same, but, you know, twice as expensive. I mean, it has, like, less pesticides or something in it. Isn't that what gives it its flavor? Ah, frick, I didn't see where I spawned. Uh, top right. Yep, not even close. Organic is just an excuse to hike up prices. I mean, it probably costs more to make that organic food. Like, we spared no expense to keep the smallest of insects that have no taste or presence on this earth away from your food. But it costs us a fortune, so we're going to sell it for a fortune. I work at... <laughs> I work at Half Foods. Whole Foods... Like, their entire concept is just... We get that your drugs are expensive. And you have the money to spend, so... We're just the money laundering place, but it looks like you're buying groceries. You ever paid $13 for an apple? No, but you gotta get rid of that money that you made illegally. This bag of chips is like ten dollars. Yeah, I'm uh I'm gonna wait till I win the lottery, and then I still won't buy whole boots. Shopping at Whole Foods is like getting a college loan. But for groceries. A grocery store where the healthy food is cheap and the junk food is expensive. Uh... Because all the people in power are making sure that this is not a perfect world. It's very easy to get obese nowadays because it's so easy and so cheap to buy junk food rather than salads. Like, 
why waste time making your own food when we can make disgusting greasy food for you for less money and like 80% of the people will be like where's the downside sign me up the world we live in today. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. If you're fine with the off-brand products, like they, you feel like they always taste the same? Shop at Aldi. Because it really is like the exact same thing, and much cheaper. Bad food is cheaper than healthy food because it's easier to make. takes no effort to put a like burger on a pan and then wait till it's brown if you want something like curry with tons of different ingredients and like vegetables you have to like cut each one you have to wait like an hour to cook it all stuff that people say they don't have time for burger takes like 20 seconds to make then people are going to choose the burger lazy people are like a market I know I fall into that category a lot of the time I need to stop eating fast food, but if I'm hungry and I want to eat, they have it ready. Lazy gang, sit down. I think you're thinner than I am. I kind of gained a gut the last couple of years that I've been working kind of hard to get rid of. Not so much these last three weeks, but... I did used to have like a flat belly. I'd rather be abs, but you know, that's like a whole process. It's not that I don't like working out, it's just that I get tired of it. Oh, well, they didn't get the bag either. The skinny pack. Is that a battle game? Yeah, it is. Alright, I still need to draw. I still need to catch butterflies. Still need to travel the canyons. Let's draw. I can still feel my ribs. Or so I thought. I can feel them, just not in between them. I can 
suck my gut in. I can too. It just, you know, has to come out eventually. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if you have even the slightest gut, and then you like suck, you like suck your gut in, uh, I think no matter like how thin you are, or how fit you are, if you like, once you like let it go, it looks a lot worse than it actually, you know, is. So I'll suck my gut in and be like, oh, this is not so bad, and then it just it makes that noise. It bloats out. And I'm like, oh, god. I should not have looked at myself like that. And then I'll feel bad. When really, it's not, like, bad at all. It's just not very encouraging. Like, no matter how fit or thin you are. Hey Binglet, remember how, what you said earlier about, like, someone winning the lottery? I have 272 coins, it's not a big deal, but... Yeah, look! Family's a history of being overweight. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to find out my family history. I think we have, like, a history of heart disease. I do not want to think about that. I mean, if you're skinny now, just, I'd say try to con continue eating the way you do currently until you notice, like, any kind of difference. Because I had a super fast metabolism, too. And it's probably because I worked at Wendy's and ate there, like, every single day. Um... But yeah, I did notice a change after a while, and while it wasn't encouraging, it was eye-opening. That I can't just eat whatever I want and be skinny forever and do the bare minimum of, like, working out and the like. It wouldn't hurt to, like, get a diet under control now, but... Yeah, just, I I would say just be, like, cautious about something like that. Just want to start now. It's also a task, like, something that's just not easy to do. Oh, that chain chomp took out three. But learning to enjoy healthy eating and, like, cooking for yourself is one of the best things you can do for your health. Because if you don't enjoy cooking, you're never going to, like, eat healthy. Or eat as healthy as you could. Come on, chain jump. Ole! Ole! There we go.
Like, you don't have to enjoy cooking, but enjoy knowing how to cook. Is, that's, I think that's some of the best advice I can give. So I know not everyone would have the time to, like, prepare a meal for an hour and then... Just be able to eat it. Yay, Bowser game! Half their coins, I'll still have more than DK. Uh, I was talking to my f uh, extended family about this not too long ago. No. I'll, uh... I'll see what's on my mind after this. Cherry, strawberry, apple, orange. I saw two oranges. I don't think I saw melon. Um, my family said that you will, that cooking is not like a get rich kind of job. And if you do go to culinary school, like just for culinary arts, that's a debt that you will probably never pay off. Like if you enjoy cooking and you love to do it, then, you know, power to you. I do too. I want to. I want to do something like that for my future. Because there's jobs everywhere when it comes to cooking. People gotta eat. But the best way to gain experience is not through cooking school, but like just one or two cooking classes. And, uh... And just, like, working in a restaurant. That's, like, the better way to, ex like, get experience for cooking. Because you learn meals. You learn, like, prep. You learn, like, basically everything firsthand while earning money instead of paying money to learn it. So if you're interested in, like, culinary arts experience like two employers is just as good as education the better thing about experience is that you earn money from it instead of paying money for it thank you for the bits whoever bitted me whoever bit me haha <laughs> oh that hurts i'll check in a sec did that. Thanks for the bits, Waffle. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. It'd be kind of neat to be a voice actor, but like the coding and game testing that's never been like something very interesting to me it'd be neat to be a part of video game development but I've just never been interested in that particularly Yes. My sister does too. She finally got into like a coding class in college. She said she's very excited about it. I don't blame her. Cause she is interested in that stuff. She does want to be a game developer. Game or website developer. I think 
either one's fine with her. Thank goodness Yoshi rolled low there, because otherwise I would have lost. How you doing, Waffle? I seriously hope you're not considering, like, joining me this entire run. I know, I appreciate the way you did for my 24-hour stream, but this is going to be, like, twice that. I will be getting some sleep in the middle, and I hope you do too. I would appreciate it if you stayed most of the time. You don't have to. But yeah, do not stay up for the entire time. Because I won't even stay up the entire time. What is with these fast storms? school sometime tomorrow, so I can't. Okay, cool. Because I know you say sleep is overrated or for the week or something. It's really not. Sleep is very important. And if it comes to it, sleep to me is more important than getting this record. Like, if I need to sleep, I will be sleeping. <laughs> Sounds good to brass roses. I appreciate that. I'll see you around every once in a while, I bet. But yeah, I don't mind you lurking. The final battle pass tier. That sounds like such a video game statement. gathering and wow which is very chill oh okay Oops, sounds like you can watch and chat if it's anything like farming like in games with farming yeah, sounds kind of chill. <laughs> Did a uh, Zlander and the Z Squad give up on Valorant? It seems like he's more of an Among Us streamer now. Oh yeah, did y'all play yesterday? I got home at like 1 in the morning, so... My farm's in butt just happened.
I gotcha. Because Z did invite me to play yesterday, but I think he's expecting me to get home at like 10. I feel like Lemon, I feel like in that game, you would just go on a murder spree before somebody held a meeting. Like, not even trying to hide the fact it was you. You just want to kill as many people as possible. I'm sure you'd play like some rounds where you try not to get caught, but I know that's at least something you'd do for at least one round. That was a good start. Oh, there's a kill cooldown? I thought you could just like stab two people in a row if they didn't like call a meeting fast enough or whatever. Oh. Ha, you got the worst one. I did see two imposters slay two different people in the same room. Somebody else's stream. That was really funny. But yeah, I didn't I didn't know there's a cooldown timer for that. Stunfisk sandals. That would be very painful. We've all back scratcher. <laughs> Same thing. Snow runt snow cones. Uh, are the snow runts the snow cones, or do they make the snow cones? Are you serious, Waluigi? <laughs> Wabafet body pillow? I think he gave Waffle a new idea. I mean, Wobbuffet does have the like, perfect shape for a body pillow, so... Cacturn butt! Nothing. That was 17 points in one bomb. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Muck dish soap. 
That one sounds counterproductive. So does a wheezing air freshener. Two poo poo platter? What does that mean? <laughs> Mudkip catnip. Does that mean the catnip is made from Mudkip? Or it's catnip for Mudkip? Because Mudkip's not a cat. I don't know, I'm just saying shit. to say it. We need an Animal Crossing game where the villagers are just Pokemon. Skitty litter. There you go. Just imagine like a cute little Mewtwo singing to the radio or shopping for furniture with like anime, Animal Crossing style like artwork. That would be adorable. Having a Tropius on two legs as your neighbor, your best friend. Crossing game inspired by witch trials. Or Happy Tree Friends greater than Animal Crossing. Uh It's a weird comparison, but I can't necessarily say you're wrong. about some things. Oh, now I'm just having like really dark thoughts about the Animal Crossing villagers and the Happy Tree Friends environment. Now I'm sad. Sounds good, my dude. The cargo brand running shoes. Huh. I'll see you around, Lemon. Probably before I end the run. Or probably before the run ends. Alright. 
Alright, we still need Canyon minigame. Canyon butterflies. I'd rather not unlock all the battle minigames in the first character, but... I'll be fine if I do. Oh gosh, everybody's coins. Is that a raid? Hello raiders. Hold on, I'm drawing. Thank you for the follow person I will check in a sec. I appreciate it. Alright, Apathy is death! Hello! How are you today? Thank you, Seven Raging Seven Dragon Seven. And thank you for the follow. We'll see in 40 hours. Yep, this is, uh... This is gonna be a long speed run. So what I am doing is known as All Presents. I start from a clean save, nothing's unlocked, and I gotta get all possible presents in the game, which means I have to do the story mode with every character, and I have to get bonus minigame presents that are acquired through some interesting means. Doing the story mode with one character, that was kind of questionable for Wario, but doing the story mode with one character takes on about on average about five hours so doing that with all eight characters is going to be on average around 40 hours and I cannot stop the timer meaning I will be sleeping during the stream not on camera because I think that's TOS if I do it on purpose and I just have to get all the presents in under 50 hours. Only one person has ever attempted it, it seems like. And for good reason, they did not attempt it again. So all that means is I have to beat it, and I get a world record. It is kind of crazy. I have plenty of time to like take snack breaks and restroom breaks and the like, but, uh, yeah, it's not gonna be something I'll try again for a while, unless it's, unless I do not beat it, or, unless I do beat it, and it is eventually beaten again later. How much sleep am I gonna try and get? Uh, I'm thinking after I do five characters, that'll be a, around 25 hours of just uh, uptime. I will try to get at least an hour and a half to two hours of sleep. I will set an alarm. I'll have my brother wake me up. My brother's going to buy me food. So I don't have to, like, get a long pause to, you know try to make it myself. Uh, yeah, two hours should be ideal. That's what the world record holder did. Ish. I think he got an hour and a half of sleep. And then he was able to just wake up after that and finish the run. I'm hoping to do something similar so I don't waste too much time. And, uh, yeah. If I am able to do this in under 50 hours, 51 rounded up, then that'll be my second world record for this game. But it is a 
kind of crazy record to try to even go for. But uh, when I looked at speedrun.com, I realized it existed, and I realized that I kind of wanted to try to go for it. Wish me luck. This will be on YouTube probably in a couple different parts. Yo, seven raging seven. I'm just going to call you Raging Dragon. Thank you for gifting a sub to Apathy is Death. That's really kind of you. All the luck, my friend. Thank you. How is your stream, by the way? Are you playing Final Fantasy? Not a question. How did I end up up here? I think somebody swapped me places. Dragon is fine. Okie doke. Well, thank you, Dragon. It was very kind of you. There will be a day, probably this week, where I come up with sub-badges. Final Fantasy 10-2. Had to end early. Okay, it's easy. Had to end early because I'm helping out with moving things around at home tomorrow. Oh, okay. Were you hoping to, like, get a good long stream today? And it just, you know, didn't work out that way? Or <clears throat> were you expecting a shorter stream? Oh, yeah. A lot. As people wake up, get off work, get on break from work, I'm expecting a lot more, like, unique people. Waluigi swap, thank you. Did not notice. Oops, I'm kind of spamming. Alright, well, let's win the lottery, huh? Alright, well, maybe next time. Jumped on their stream right before they raided. I gotcha. Be sure to stream for long t longer tomorrow. I gotcha. Yeah, sorry I haven't been by in a bit. Kind of realized that, like, I'm going to bed when I realize you're streaming, and then I'm, like, too tired to, like, want to chit chat, so I don't, like, say anything. But I do miss your streams. By the way, anybody that was already here, go follow Apathy is Death. He's a wonderful streamer, a very wholesome person, and I think you'll get along with him very well. <laughs> you could probably save enough points to end the stream. I'm gonna press X to doubt, but please do not end my stream. Especially like the 40 hour mark. I mean, it doesn't say I can't turn my stream just back on instantly, so. Oh, go ahead. Also, gotta try to figure out how to get that bottom basket consistently. Good vibes and good luck. Thank you. 
You know I'm a fan of the good vibes. The good luck. I mean, that wasn't so much, but... Uh, that's something that's kind of been lacking the last couple of weeks. Most specifically with shiny hunting. Butterflies. The candy one's right next to me. I don't know why I didn't pick that. I need both of them. Another stipulation for this run, I need to unlock and play all minigames. Actually, I don't need to play all minigames, I just need to unlock all minigames, but... With unlocking them, usually requires playing them. Exceptions to that are the minigames that are unlocked in... Womps and Thwomps Room. Womps Room and Thwomps Room. There are a few of those I do have to play for presents, but most of those I can skip. I do have to do some Jigsaw Jitters puzzles, which is very simple. It's the same puzzle and the same pieces every time. And those I already memorized. I do have to play a game called Beach Volley Volley. Beach Volley Folly. Pardon me. Uh, which I got really good at. Over the course of like three days, so. I'm prepared to do that. And I need to get 15 pages on a game called Challenge of Book Squirm, which is just the regular minigame of Book Squirm, but there is no end when the three people get crushed. But 15 pages is like really, really simple. So that'll be easy peasy. Want to become famous? Buy Butlow Butts, Primes, and Butts on Big Follows Starcom. Thank you, Waffle. Party space. No star for you. He could have said Butt Follows. But he didn't. <laughs> the, uh, the opponents in Valorant? But so badly they couldn't even lose with dignity. They just gave up. Why is she up there? Alright, Peach, we have all the We have all the battle minigames. We don't need I mean we need one more. We don't need any more. Best game show. Ooh, I like that's a good random question. I'm gonna save that for the next person to redeem that. Uh best game show. 
I'm gonna count game show as game show and reality game show as reality game show, so those will be different answers. Uh kind of setting up things for a lurk on work. I gotcha. Thanks for the seven bits, dragon. Uh, best game show. Family Feud is kind of a banger. I love watching Family Feud. Granted, I... People at home always participate in the game shows and try to figure this stuff out themselves. But I have the most fun when I'm watching Family Feud and trying to figure out what a hundred people said. Is it the best? I can't say it is. I have the most fun watching it. Like, over other game shows, but best? I don't know. I would count Amazing Race as reality game show, because it's... Like, you get a... You get a connection with the contestants. Game show, it's just like, Hi, my name's Rob, and I'm here to win some money in front of everybody. And you're all are like, hi, Rob. But with Amazing Race and, like, Survivor or Big Brother, you get, like, a connection. Like, you get to see how they work and, like, their personality. So I call that a bit different. I couldn't tell you one family name that was ever appeared on Family Feud. I could say Smith, but that'd just be a guess. Because there's a lot of families named Smith. But I can name like 97% of Big Brother house guests. Oh. Alright, good job, Wario. Waluigi. Where is on my team? Um, my favorite reality game show is Big Brother. I'm gonna audition for it next year, actually. Uh, regular game show. I want to say Jeopardy, but it's weird because I don't really like Jeopardy. I also don't really like the prices right. I mean, I like... I like the whole, like vibe the Price is Right gives off, but I don't like really like it as a game show. I've seen those prices in stores. They are not the same. Because they are, they are always marked up on the Price is Right. Without a doubt. Game of games? I've never heard of this game of games. Is that like a, something she just does on her talk show, or is she the host of an actual game show? Beach. Bye, Waluigi. Waluigi, go! Oh, he survived. Oh, okay. I thought I thought Ellen just only had her talk show. Didn't know she was a host.
Oh, damn. Well, this could end up not going well. You have a theory about the host of Wheel of Fortune? What did my boy Pat do now? Good, I'm not involved. Wheel of Fortune is a really good game show. Ooh, they trade places. <laughs> All right. I do know what the worst game show is. Best, I'm still kind of deciding, but worst, without a doubt, even though I love the host to death, is Deal or No Deal. That is a great game for arcades. As a game show, it is dog shite. Play Pokemon now. I'm kind of busy. I'll be busy for the next 40 hours. Sorry, Haley. <laughs> kind of don't want to play Pokemon. That Dracovic is pissing me off. And now the Flygon is, too. Flygon's not showing its shiny self, either. <laughs> because she's a VIP. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to be playing Mario Party 4 for the next probably 40 hours, maybe 42, 43. And by the next 42 hours, I mean 42 hours straight. I'm not allowed to pause. <laughs> 40 hour stream at least. There will be a point in time when I have to pause and take a nap off stream. With the stream still running. So that you st still see the timer. But yeah. It's called friendship. Yeah. Friends make demands to each other. I demand all my friends to stay hydrated. But because I demand them to, doesn't mean they have to. Just like I don't have to play Pokemon right now. Alright, Waluigi. Let's just finish this. Hydrate. That's a. Uh... Is that timeout worthy phrase that you just said right there? <sighs> Hydrations for bitches. Let's see. Yeah, I have some. Guess I'm a bitch! Oh no, Wario couldn't buy the star. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes. Although I do need to limit my water drinking because I need to not be taking a lot of restroom breaks this stream. I'll need to take some, obviously, but not a lot. You couldn't even clip. Oh, it's that's okay. Bowser's a bigger blast. That just that just happens. Nah, don't need it. Don't need it happening either. Yeah. Because, I mean, it doesn't actually show that player one is the character they selected, so I have to put it over my over my face. You could probably tell just based on how many coins and stars I have, but at the beginning of the game, it's not that obvious. You finally came and got Among Us? I thought you already had it. Brett is forcing me to cave by buying it for me. He wanted me to play it with him yesterday, but I got home too late. Yeah, it... I'll probably get used to having to change that. I don't think it'll be that annoying. But yeah, I will have to change that for every run. I know there still might be people who ask, like, which character I am, but... I mean, I get it. Yeah, Z played with, like, a party of eight. I think he had... he had plenty of people to play with him. I was just doing stuff with friends, so... I wasn't home the time he was playing. Message his stupid ass and tell him I have it. Alright. You are definitely a shoe in to be in like every single one of his lobbies. Because I declined the last two times he invited me, but he still had fun without me. Nobody's getting that star, they're all passing it. So I have yet to play Among Us. I also have yet to play Fall Guys. There seems to be a trend in these style video games. Oh hey, question. What is your question? Oh my god, that, that video was so funny. Adam Sandler promoting the GameCube 2. There was, there was one moment for the Sonic Riders 2, or whatever it's called. I've never played that one, so I don't know that story. But Tails is like... Tails was saying to Sonic, There's a hunk of junk here! And Sonic and Tails at the same time said, Yeah, there's a robot too! And, or Sonic said that, and Tails like, And I'm not even talking about you! Like, I had to pause because I was laughing so hard. That they had that same joke ready to go at the exact same time. They just told it different. That was so funny to me. I, uh, I saved the Sonic Adventure 2 battle one on my Watch Later playlist. Because it was too late for me to start another video.
I mean, I do like this party game, so I probably would like that. Like Fall Guys and Among Us. Oh god, I lost my star to Wario. This, oh god. The Sonic 06 one is probably the best. I have no idea what that entire plot is about, but I cannot wait to watch that one. I just know one of the characters is a princess and a uh, furry. Or she will be. And she fell in love with Sonic. What a fucking stupid plot. I hate that so much. What am I doing? I want to die. This isn't Challenge Book Squirm yet. I have the feeling me just saying, what am I doing, I want to die, could be quoted. Because that's very out of context. But I also wouldn't mind never saying that. I don't know. That's up to the mods. I don't know. I like Jet way too much. Jet's voice was so funny to me. Like, just him, like, regularly talking. I was just cracking up. I mean, all the bird... All the people that played the birds were really, really funny. Storm broke character the least. He was like the mo the most professional one there. It's up it's up to you, Bress. What am I doing? I want to die. I feel like that's could be like that sounds so sad. It created the meme supreme. I did have to pause again when he like was holding the GameCube 2 and said Adam Sandler must be in here. Oh man. Doing. I want to die. No, that's a good quote. Thanks, Anna. Yeah, you wish! Nice try, shy guy. Oh, he got the right one. Freaking brick. I tried to beat him to it, but we were both wrong. Alright. Like the Sonic Adventure 1. I vaguely remember that story. might know more about this than I do. What is the difference between Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut? We 
because I played DX Adventure Cut, or Director's Cut. But I know they're similar. I don't know why I did not go for that happening space last turn, or last board. That could have ended really badly. Tried a few, hated them all. Dang. I honestly believe all the GameCube era Sonic games were good. It might just be nostalgia goggles, but there was not a single GameCube game I didn't enjoy. Alright, I'm going to turn on save every turn because this is the board most known for uh, crashing my runs. So if I save every turn, I shouldn't lose any progress. This is on a GameCube. Not even a GameCube game played on a Wii, but just an actual GameCube. I lost the sensor for my Wii, so I can't use it. The GameCube too. Now I'll show you. If you could see it, wait. Okay, yeah, this is easy. Ignore my scuffed setup, but yeah. there it is. You can you can see the light. It's just sitting on the ground. Oh, where is it? There's the light. Yeah, the Wii is in my closet somewhere. I don't know. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm bad at this game. There we go. But hasn't harassed me today. Why did you say that out loud? Now he's gonna come from the shadows. That saving screen would add up over time. That's why I'm only doing it on this board and the next board. It was really funny. You got that right. I'm really interested in watching new one other ones. Do they just do Sonic games? I did it to a follower bot? He did what? Oh, Buttspot did it to a follower bot. Yeah. They've done other games? Okay. I mean, Sonic's probably the funniest, because they all have very distinct voices.
See? It lead to a good time. Not a bad idea. It's boring. Oh yeah, you don't live in the same place I do anymore. And are you sure? What's up, Daisy? That could be like a gray area though, because back when I did song requests, I'm not even like, I didn't even have song requests on. There was a time when Waffle would only submit Undertale, Megalovania, but ba bass boosted to the max. And he's like, click this link. I'm like, I know what that is, I'm not gonna click it. It sounds terrible. It's like, no, it's not what it is, I promise. I just be like, I'm hovering over it. It's exactly what I think it is. But he did recommend the coconut song, so that's... He does, he, he has submitted some good stuff. I, yeah, Waffle, I now like the coconut song. I remember I was like very anti the coconut song when I first heard it. Now it's pretty great. Can't lie. Do I? I have like a. I mean, I have a memes page, and I have a... Oh, I don't have a video page. I do have an express yourself, like, section. Where you can recommend, like, other things to other people. That would be a bad idea. Like memes to, like, vids to watch on stream. <laughs> Alright. I have a vids to watch on streams section now in my discord so if you want me to react to any memes or something I'll have to think of a day or a time when I could do that probably during a shiny hunting stream the least amount of stuff happens in those streams Chit chat a lot, but there's not a lot when it comes to shiny, like shiny Pokemon or anything. Fucking track a bitch. Really only need twenty. I think the CPUs on every difficulty for this game, this minigame, do not understand what the goal is. They never go for the gold rings. They barely swim through the blue rings, or aim for them. They just kind of swim towards them every once in a while.
Happening number one. Another one. All right. Uh. All right. I know you don't like the games very much, but Binglet, do you have a favorite character in the Sonic universe? Not from the fan dub, but. Just a favorite character from the Sonic universe. If so, who is it? What's the goal here? The goal is to get every present possible in the game. In order for me to do that, I have to play through the story mode of every single character which is around five hours average for char for each character. And I have to get the minigame presents, which are kind of vague, but I can explain each one of those. And then once I do all that, I get the Party Star Trophy, which is like... technically 100%ing the game. So, it's called All Presents, but it's basically Mario Party 100%. One of my challenges is to beat this minigame in, in under a minute 30 seconds. I did already do that, so I don't have to worry about that later. There are, there's a minigame called Take a Breather, where I have to stay underwater for more than enough I want to say like eight seconds. I already did that. To beat Mario Medley in under a minute, did that as well. Dang, dude, I missed all those jumps. Um, I have to do some bonus minigames that, that you cannot find in the story mode. That'll be at the very end of the run. And, uh... Yeah. I mean, that's basically the gist. So, story mode, eight times in a row. Any difficulty is fine. It was never specified. And then uh, a few minigames. Then I get the Party Star Trophy. Only, as, as far as I know, only one person has ever tried it and has ever finished it. They've only attempted it once as well, because who would, you know, stay up for 50 hours? And the, the Party Star Trophy in the Presence Room, which Shy Guy is in charge of, uh, there you can see all the constellations of every character. You can see all the presents that you get for beating each minigame. There is, there are two spots that are not reserved to any characters. One of those spots is for uh, minigame presents, and the other spot is just a very blank, empty canvas. If you hover over it without the party star trophy. It just says, I wonder what goes here. But once you get all the presents, it appears. It's a gold trophy that looks about three times as tall as Mario. It does not technically unlock anything, no.
At least as far as I can tell, it does not. There's also, like, no special animation that shows that you've unlocked it either. It's just kind of there after you get all presents. Me, Daisy, and Wario all have one. It's just kind of a neat looking trophy that you get for unlocking everything. That I actually did not even have for the my other save file. Because I had no idea I had to beat Beach Volley Volley. Beach Volley Folly in order to unlock it. And the end of the run is proving that I did unlock the trophy. I just have to hover over it. So if you're here in 40 hours, you'll be able to see it. Or you might see it on YouTube. If you decide to watch the ending on YouTube. So I will be submitting it. Or not submitting it. I'll be uploading it to YouTube and submitting it on speedrun.com. Dude, you have no coins. Can't get the star yet. Yeah, it will be. But just doing, like, basic math... I would need to lose around five hours of game time in order to not get the world record for this. Which sounds very unlikely. Because the world record holder that did this run in the first place, he didn't, like... He didn't really have any strats or anything. He was just kind of playing the game and realized that this is a potential speedrun, and he just wanted the world record for it. Because nobody else wanted to try it. So he set a time, but it was a garbage time compared to what he could have gotten. Me? I actively speedrun this game. I know how to make good time. I know what the best strats are. I researched what to do and what not to do before starting it. So unless, like, my GameCube blows up, or my PC crashes, or something terrible happens, knock on wood, it should be in the bag. It's up to a garage door opener if he wants to ever try to get it back. But he saw the opportunity he saw the opportunity to like get a free world record and then so did I not too long afterwards. Oh yeah, easy win. My biggest concern, or my two biggest concerns, are my game crashing at Manta Rings, which has just happened in the past before, and like having to redo some boards, and me sleeping too long for when I need to take a nap. Because while I do trust that my brother will wake me up, or I will wake myself up with an alarm. There's always the chance that he forgets, or I just automatically turn my alarm off and go back to bed because I've just been known to do that. Oh, 
I thought this run was going to be a million times easier because I thought it could be segmented. Which is why only one person has ever attempted it because it's not segmented. You have to do it in real time. still in here. I guess not. We gotta do canyons! Come on, Daisy. Star! It's always red the first time. Come on, Wario. I can afford it. I love Wind Waker. Are you playing that right now? Winglet? Oh yeah, got a coin. Wario can't buy that star. Last five? Not yet. not get a one, Wario. Actually, go ahead. I don't really need... I'm not on the track yet, so... Do what you gotta do, bud. He can't get a Bowser game, because he has no coins. If he were to land on that.
Oh, brick. Is there a reason you're oo wooing? Did you spy a cat somewhere? Yeah, why not? Let's get it this time. felt the need. This was a very oo free chat up until that point. So thank you. Speaking of which, I watched the Cats movie musical. Cats the musical the movie edition yesterday don't know how to feel about it. For people CGI'd as cats, it wasn't as terrible as I once believed. It was weird, but it wasn't terrible. I would recommend it. The songs weren't... I mean, they weren't bad. It is based off a musical, after all, so... Of course, the songs weren't bad. It's just, I didn't know any of them. There are a few I added to my Spotify playlist, actually. It was... It was something. You heard part of the explanation. Which part? Are you doing this? Because he has the emotes. I said I would recommend watching it as long as you're not like creeped out by weird CGI. Because people, you know, CGI'd as cats it was kind of odd. It wasn't terrible, but it was odd. I feel like there's a very big distinction. And, uh, I mean, based on a musical, it had really good music. If you're, you know, into musicals. So, I would, I would say I'd recommend it. Would I ever watch it again? I wouldn't rent it again. I would watch it again, but I would not rent it again. That makes sense. Oh yeah, I'd say I'd say you should give it a try, especially if you like cats, because it's weird how human beings moved with like. They move the way that cats walk. 
It's kind of scary accurate. What's the world record? 50 hours, 43 minutes, 28 seconds. Which can be reduced by at least 6 hours. Middle. You dumb as fuck, idiot. To collect every present in the game. I gotta do every story mode with every character. I mean, there's only one story mode per character, so I gotta do story mode for with every character. And then a few bonus mini games at the end. And GG. Easy world record. I just not gotta I just gotta not fall and stay asleep for too long and then I'll I'll have it easy peasy. Yeah, it's gonna be a challenge, but I do think I can do it. My health does come first, though. If I need to sleep or I need to stop, I will. But I will try my best to power through it and get another world record. Don't do it, Dave. Oh, you bitch. Another. Because I have world record for hard mode in this game. Oh, that's a thing. Uh, hold on, is this... Is this a command? It is a command, yeah. It is. It's on speedrun.com and everything. Verified. That's just the ending of the run, but... I mean, if you pay attention to my timer, you could see where it changes from... World record was... 3... 4.37.30 to the time that I got. Right? I've been chasing that high. This is kind of reaching, because, you know, it's a 50-hour speed run. But, I mean, I think I can do it. So I'm going to try. One sec. Uh, for the hard mode, that took me about seven months of speedrunning to get that one. And while this is only going to, it's probably going to be my first and probably only try at this particular world record. I know this game well enough now that I could probably get it. I know that sounds like I'm just tooting my own horn, but the uh, current world record holder, he made a lot of, like, simple mistakes that showed me that he's not, like, as well-versed in this game as I am. Like, he wasn't throwing as many minigames as I was. He didn't practice the bonus minigames at the end of the run. Like, Jigsaw Jitters, he did, like, each puzzle two or three times. I made sure to practice each one. 
so that I know where all the pieces are going to go. Um, there was one moment where his game crashed and he had to redo like three or four boards, which cost him like two and a half hours. So, some shit did go down with his world record, and that's why I think I can beat it. And that's why I know I can beat it. But, um... Doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. Good job, Daisy. Like, I can tell he did... Like, he went for this world record because nobody else had tried it before and nobody else had wanted to. He basically did it because it was free. And I see it the exact same way. I just know I'm well versed in this game enough to beat his current record. It's gonna be five coins, isn't it? Yep. I don't know what it is about the last turn in a battle mini game, but 99% of the time it's only five coins. Star, but I don't think that matters. I set this for hard mode difficulty, which probably 
won't be a mistake because that's just the difficulty I'm most used to. Oops, well, that's it for me. Hi, Social Shy Guy. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Hello, Phantom. I hope you are well. So, you joined me at a very odd time in my streaming life where I'm doing a probably a 48 hour speed run without pausing the timer. I do play this game a lot, but this is the first time and probably the only time I will be doing this particular speed run. I'm doing pretty good at the moment. I'm going to be up for a very long time and I'm going to be streaming for a very long time. Two happenings. I don't think I lost a daisy, did I? That would suck. So I usually just do one uh, story mode run. This time I'm doing all of them in one stream. Okay, nope, I'm good. That was close. I think I won by two coins. <laughs> Okay, 12 coins, but, you know, still, cutting it kind of close. So, Phantom, if you are new to Mario Party 4 speedruns, basically, I do six boards per character, or for one character, usually. At the end of each board, I play a minigame against that board's host, and if I win, I get a present. So all I gotta do is whap more Bowsers than Toad, and I will get Toad's present. Easy peasy. But the thing with the speedrun that I'm doing now is I'm doing that with every character instead of just one. This is something that I'm probably only going to try once. Mm. Yep. Mario Party speedruns are like 90% RNG. go quick. The other 10% is skill. Like, you do need skill to, like, do the minigames, know what to spend your coins on. A lot of it is luck. Make sh making sure you roll low, that you don't land on battle minigames, which waste a lot of time.
So that couch that we just got is added to Mario's present room. We have one more present to go for Mario's room before we can move on to the next character. Which is going to be on Bowser's board. So we just play it like normal, try to win it. Only try to win it fast. And then we face Bowser, get his present, and then it's on to the next character. In a normal speed run, I'd beat Bowser, and then the, that would just be the end of the run. Oh yeah, Super Mario 64 is like... Like number... It's in the top three in speedrunning games that everybody knows and watches even a little bit. Like, I think everybody knows Ocarina of Time speedruns. I don't even play Ocarina of Time, but I know an Ocarina of Time speedrun is iconic. Same with Super Mario 64. I've gone first every single board. This is weird. It's never happened. Yeah, there's not a lot of similarities between this and like a Super Mario 64. That's like all technical and all very precise. This is a lot of luck. A fair amount of just like hanging around because once I take my turn, it'll take like at least a minute probably for the rest of them to take their turns. While a, you know, Super Mario 64 speedrunner will never let their hands off the controller. So. I get a lot of time to sit back, talk to chat, take a drink of water. Which I'm all about. I'm gonna get some right now. But it's also a lot of luck and a lot of losing your run to just absolute BS. Happens a lot. Never be able to do a speedrun myself. Well, what's your favorite game? If you don't mind me asking. Like your favorite video game of all time. One that you've played like four times now, like start to finish. And for future purposes, it's around this time that I'd normally start streaming, but today I started pretty much as soon as I woke up so that I would be... so that I wouldn't be tired early on later in the day. I want to get most of my awake time like actually playing the game instead of, you know, holding off until about right now. is enough. You gonna get that star. The original Ratchet and Clank. I have seen a speed run of that. That also does look technical. It is a platformer, right? I'm thinking of a Ratchet and Clank game, but I don't know if it's the same one.
Do you think that you would ever... It is a platformer? Okay. Do you think that you would ever, like, look up, like, some of the technical tricks or, like, skips? Like, if you have a... If you have a least favorite level and you realize that you can skip it entirely to get to the final boss, is that something you'd ever want to, like, look into at all? Like, one of my favorite games is Banjo and Kazooie. And while Rusty Bucket Bay was a nightmare, if you've ever played that game and know what I'm talking about, for the any percent speedrun, I do think they pretty much skip it entirely. Or at least they skip the most horrible spot in that stage. Is there something like that in Ratchet and Clank? Just a level that you despise going to, but you love the rest of the game? Never attempted to do a speedrun? It does require, like, a lot of patience. Most of the times, a lot of tricks. Like, you know, getting out of bounds consistently, or doing, like, frame-perfect stuff. Like, that kind of stuff can take a lot of patience. And if it's... For a game that you probably would only play, like, once uh, once every blue moon or whatever, you might get tired of that game eventually. Which is, like, a fear for some games. Because I don't want to... I haven't speedrun Ban Banjo-Kazooie. Because I am a little bit afraid that I'll stop liking it, because that's a lot of RNG in that game, too. Or, it can become your favorite game even more than it already is. Like, for me, this Mario Party Mario Party 4 was my favorite Mario Party. And then when I learned the speedrun, I thought, okay, I'm eventually gonna get bored of these minigames eventually, right? But I've been playing this for, like, Seven months now? Maybe longer than that. And... Yeah, I still love it. So if you do have, like, the... The, like, grit, I guess, to, like, want to learn how to speedrun, I believe anybody can do it. For any game. Even games that you wouldn't expect to have a speedrun for them. Like visual novel games. Like I've seen someone speedrun uh, Phoenix Wright. Which, for a story based game, did not make a lot of sense, but it existed. Would I, ever, would I ever do that? No, because I love the story too much, but... I mean, it does exist. For every game. It's like Rule 34. But, you know, more wholesome. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the canyons! Waluigi. Like, if you know what Rule 34 is, good, because I'm probably not going to say what it is on stream. But th I think the same thing can apply to speedrunning. If there is a game that can be beaten, there is a speedrun for it. I, have s I haven't really seen a Danganronpa speedrun, but I have seen, like... When I was looking up, like, VODs of stuff for it, I did see two people racing it. Which was... Kind of confusing, but... I guess in a way it makes sense. Baby. 
any games that are coming out that I'm looking forward to or hyped for? Uh, technically. I say technically because I am very hyped for the Super Mario 3D All-Stars, even though it's, you know, a collection of old games. So, if you want to count that as a new game that I'm hyped for, because it sort of is, I would count that. That is because I've never played Super Mario Sunshine, and I've always wanted to. I played like one level at my family friend's... at a family friend's place. And then never again after that. And I've always wanted to play it ever since then. The voice acting is probably going to be a little bit weird to me because I've... That just doesn't sound right in a Mario game. But I've only ever heard great things about that game. Oops. So if you want to count that as a new game that I'm hyped for, then absolutely. But it is a collection of old games. So that's like a gray area. Uh, like brand new games? I guess Halo Infinite. So I've always been a fan of the Halo series. Even Halo 5 I liked. That wasn't very well liked within the community, but I loved it. Oops. Um. New games? I don't really get hyped for very often anymore. I always say, like, oh, I'll see how it does, and if, if people like it, before I consider getting it. Excuse me. And then even, even if it does well, I'm like, well, maybe not. I like, guess not that I don't like the game after watching the gameplay and reviews of it, it's just I'm not as hyped for new games anymore. Cyberpunk 27.7. 2077. Uh, that's that's like another one. Like, a lot of people are really hyped for it, and I've seen a lot of gameplay, and it looks really cool. But, will I get it? I honestly kind of doubt it. I earned her. How's it going? Murder, do you know the lore behind the speedrun that I'm doing right now? I don't know if I explained it to you yet. I'll press Y, you dork. Oh, press B, you dork. <laughs> We're going to lose. That's all right. whatever. Yes, it was on my Discord. Uh, would that count as a new game? Or just as a new part of an existing game. Interesting. I don't know. Here's a PlayStation kid growing up. 
mean, I think the only reason Xbox is still around is because Halo is a thing. I don't think Xbox would have survived as a console if it weren't for like games like Halo. That just proves how iconic it is. That could have ended really bad. My the cap on my water bottle was not on all the way. A new part of a 15 year old game. If there's new mechanics, or if you can like just start there, I could I could count that as a new game. If like you could start and stay there and. Like, not explore the rest of the game? I counted as new. Oh, I dumbed it! Frick! Yeah, PlayStation has exclusives. I mean, Nintendo has exclusives too, let's be honest. PlayStation has, like, unique exclusives. Nintendo sticks to the same, like, characters that they've made, like, years and decades ago. But, you know, with new games. PlayStation makes exclusives. And, uh, Xbox has Halo. That's about it. They used to have Mixer. Rest in peace. Where's Bowser on this board? Is he nearby? Need to unlock a minigame. Yeah! Halo's on PC now. Which, I mean, Microsoft and Windows are like... You know... They go hand in hand. So now Halo does with them. So now what does Xbox have? They have a mini fridge as a console. And Halo Infinite? Oh wow. Okay. Halo Infinite is going to be released on Xbox One, which I currently have, so I have no reason to get the new console. It was... I was just gonna maybe get it for the new Halo game, but if it's on Xbox One, then... What's the point? Gears of War is Xbox exclusive? I didn't know that. I mean, I knew it was on Xbox, because that's just what I played it on, but I didn't know it was exclusive. Dog, dog, fry cone, bergs. Dogs, fry cone, bergs. Get it. Thanks, bud. Something I didn't know before. Bergs, I don't know where the dog is. There it is. Sweet. Cone dog, ham dog. Soup cone dog, ham dog. Oh, okay, that was instant. Uh oh, uh, cone ham. No, dog ham cone? I don't know. Yes! 
Spamming works. But yeah, I stopped playing Gears after the third one. So, that's... That's a series I'll go back and play, but I won't... I won't get a new one. Yeah, let's get this one too. Cool. Normally for this speed run it wastes a okay. It wastes a lot of time to collect the star because you have to do that, you know, stars moving animation and the collecting the star animation. When really it's so much easier just to skip it. Um but with this being a fifty hour speed run, I wanna make sure that I win, so I'm getting them out of safety. You laugh now, but I have two Mega Mushrooms and you're gonna be in front of me. in front of DK. Yeah. Right, I'll crush both of you. Same time. Hmm. So, Phantom, what are your normal streaming times? What time do you usually get on? What time do you usually get off? So, I'd love to watch your entire playthrough of Danganronpa live. chance I could miss them. A.M. GMT. Okay. Ah, oh, I forgot to use my Mega Mushroom. I'm dumb and I hate my life. Ugh. No! I didn't. <sighs> That's the worst. I'm gonna land on Waluigi. That's right. I still got seven turrets to unlock that minigame. So if you're Mega and you pass Bowser like this, you get an ex like a weird exclusive one-on-one -on -one minigame. That's like a wrestling match. 
If you beat him, he disappears, and if you lose, he takes half your coins anyway. And I do need to unlock all minigames for this speedrun. That is one of them. So. But, I can also watch a computer play it. <laughs> so, never mind. Hey, he won. What is Twitch Prime? You don't know what Twitch Prime is, Waffle? Well, Twitch Prime, if you so happen to have Twitch Prime, if you so happen to have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account. That allows you to get one sub to any one of your favorite streamers for absolutely free for an entire month means no ads, you get their nice shiny sub badge next to your name when you're in their channel, access to all their emotes, and you earn 1.2 times the channel points than you normally would. How much was it, you may ask? Well, it rhymes with $3.99. It's free 99. Minus the 99. Waffle, if you had Twitch Prime... No, I'm going to think of a better random question. Waffle, did you answer the game show question? I forgot if you were here for that. If so, what is your favorite... Okay, what did you say your favorite game show was? I'll still think of a better question for you, but... Yep, I'll buy this one too. Steve Harvey, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a different answer to the question, but... I know what you mean. My new question is, what is your favorite aquatic creature? Oh, no, I don't want to watch this one. Frick. I can't turn it off. Actually, there's two different ones, so... Okay, good, we unlocked them both. You must wrestle with Bowser. Shove him. Got him. Easy peasy. Penguin? I can. I'll count penguin. If it's a water type starter, I'll count that as an aquatic creature. Real toxic, Waluigi.
Well, if I crush him, he's just gonna crush me in return. Oh, and Phantom. Uh, back to what I was saying earlier. I, since this is going to be a very long speedrun, probably will not be able to make it there today, but I will watch your VOD and I will catch up. So no Danganronpa spoilers in the chat because Mr. Phantom is currently on his first playthrough right now. He just completed the uh, prologue yesterday, or two days ago. Waffle, that's the guy who, uh, had the waffles. That was good. Good. Oh, I love you. <laughs> yeah, Tickle My Waffle, with that being his name, is a very big fan of anything waffle related, so I just had to clip that and send it to him. will be taking Donkey Kong's coins. With that crystal ball of his. Yep, like I said, he's just gonna take him back, but He's not just straight up stealing 10 coins from me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you tried, Waluigi. <laughs> Excuse me. This is a good clip. Good. watch your VODs, I'm going to be clipping, like, your reactions to, like, plot twists. And you know the premise, so you should know there will be murder. I'm going to clip your reactions to various murders. Because that, to me, that's, like, the best thing about watching people do those, or watching people's VODs of that game. Their reactions to like their favorite characters dying or their least favorite characters dying. It's a it's 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 good fun. Second most viewed clip. Dang. That was quick. I made that two days ago.
Oh yeah, Waffle, that, uh, was it you that made the, mal the malfunction clip? I don't want to give too much about Danganronpa away. I'm going to try to give as, as little away as possible. But that was you that did the malfunction clip, right? And just, like, the way I reacted to it. Oh, DK. Entering sucks. that. That's okay. DK sucks at this game. I'm gonna make it my goal to make sure DK doesn't get any points. No! Damn it! He got one. long would you say it is in terms of hours? Um... Well, the thing with my playthrough is I made a unique voice. At least in my head. I don't... I didn't watch over a lot of my own VODs, so I don't know how they sound out loud. But I made a unique voice for every character. And voice acted all of them. So if you're just like reading the texts in your head, it probably would have been a lot less time than mine. But for the way I did it, I think all of my VODs combined, with a few, like, with a little bit of extra bonus content, was I think 44 hours. I think that was the total length of all my VODs so far. Starting from the prologue to the uh, last chapter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's just the first game. I think the other games might be even longer than that. If you're new to Mario Party speedruns, you might be wondering why I just threw it like that. Because in terms of speedrunning, coins are not nearly as important as saving 45 seconds. I very easily could have 
made that minigame last that entire length. But, I'm trying to save as much time as possible. If that means giving every other player 10 coins, that's a very good trade-off. Brass Roses is the one that pretty much got me into it. And I would love, I would like nothing more than to thank her for doing so. It's one of the best games I've ever played. And now including yours, or not including yours, I'm watching three other others. I'm, uh, I said other twice. I'm watching three other streamers play through the entire game, like because I just love watching their reactions. And now I get to watch yours live, so that's awesome, too. Yeah. Pretty good. Get you sweet. It's a really good game. There's a lot of things that I was right about when it came to like predictions about the game, and a lot of things I was very, very off on. Thanks, Wario. You actually helped me catch that gold one. I need two more. Come on, bud. There we go. Two and three. So I thought one was amazing, and that's not even her, like, her favorite one. More favorite characters. Yeah, I like that all the characters have, like, their own personality. No two people are... They're not even close to alike, to be honest. They're all so unique. Mr. Blizzard's Brigade. Uh, another one of my mods named Atari gave me a list of like how to understand the storyline in the perfect order because like between two and three give wonky.
uh, I can send you that if you have Discord. I could send you the same picture that Atari sent me. If you want to play it in, like, the most understanding order. Because there are anime for it, too, but I heard they're not as good as the games. If it's anything like the Phoenix Wright anime, then I'd have to agree. Nice! Hello again, Binglet. It's going well. Pretty good time for my first uh, story mode. A little bit better than average. This is the first one. Yeah. Final battle's up next, and then I move on to Luigi. Yeah. Uh. Excuse me, dang. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Every time I complete a story, I have to watch the credits, so... That's a good time for me to, like, use the restroom, find my snacks, refill my water. Cool. I'm gonna do that. How is Ultra Despair Girls compared to the main series games? Finish! That was pretty flawless, not gonna lie. Because I'll probably play it too. any different. My Discord? Alrighty. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll send you the picture that Atari sent me. So that, that way you can save it and just know what the order of things to play in what order is, or some. That was a really bad um, puzzle setup. Okay, I could probably do it during the credits, because I have a lot of spare time in between that time. So I do get hit on purpose there, because I have the hearts to spare, and there is a charging attack that Bowser does every once in a while. But running into him like that keeps him at bay. And if he charges me, I get huge knockback. Oop. 
which could knock me off the board. Oops. Like that one, he stopped like as I was on the platform, so I did not trust myself uh, doing that. It's Dragon Quest Eleven. Um, it will probably be this year, but I think that's really all I can say about it. But I will be doing Dragon Quest XI. That's that's a guarantee. There's still a lot of Fridays left. Alright. So this is the credits. I am going to use the restroom real quick. Hope you all enjoy the credits and music, and I will be back once they are done to Star Luigi's. I'm gonna take this time to stretch. Find a snack or two. But yeah, enjoy.
yeah, pin it. One sec, Binglet. My snack was not one, but two fun-sized Kit Kats, a fun shot, a, a fun-sized Hershey's, and a single peanut butter cup. The first Kit Kat was phenomenal. I'm going to try my best to space them out between this next board. So, file number two is the current speedrunning file. Story mode. Luigi time. I'll be eating my actual, like, food meal after Luigi's story. I'm not hungry enough to, like, be starving yet, so... So I'll be fine. I'll be fine with just these four things. One of them already ate. That was close. I must pick Toad's board. Back with tea. Nice. What kind of tea did you make? If you, in fact, made it. Black tea from the kettle. You did, in fact, make it nice. Now I'm Luigi, so I'm second. <laughs> Even though Luigi's number one. It's just every single board I was first as Mario. It was odd. Some garbage ass first place. I'm gonna slowly eat my Hershey's.
forgot what this person's name was. And it's not like I'm trying to like call them out or anything. It was just to me it was a little bit odd. They were speedrunning this game, but they had a split after every single mini game. Not battle mini games because those are random, but every single turn. At the end, they would split. A part of me wanted to do that. Not for this run. I would still be making those splits if ever for this run. But part of me wants to be like, what is my fastest possible turn that I could have? Where everybody gets a one, and then it's just unbeatable at that point. Or how far ahead am I in terms of how long this turn took compared to last turn? I gotta turn that off, by the way. I don't know. It was like... It intrigued me, but I'm like, that's such a waste of time. Oh, not done yet. Like, I haven't. I've played this game enough to know a general sense of when I'm ahead and when I'm behind. And how long a board is taking compared to how long it should have taken. Ow. Oh, prick. That was a very ideal turn, Mario. Kudos. And if that person is watching, I'm not trying to call you out or anything. I'm just fascinated. Okay. Kind of fine with this. He didn't land in front of me. I wanted to crush him. Well done, Daisy. <laughs> Waluigi hates me. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> he tried so hard. Hey, he won. Alright. Deserved. He had me bugging the crap out of him.
Yay, the best zone. Why did that scare the bejesus out of me? I got wowed. Where's the thing? I didn't get a notification. <laughs> Somebody hosted me. I think it was Lola Zora. Lola Zora hosts me a lot. awake now. Thanks for the host. Uh, Twitch is being weird and it's not showing your identity. Mystery hoster. That was you. Thank you, th thank you for the host. Thank you for scaring me awake. I don't know why that was so loud. I don't even know if it was loud. It just scared the crap out of me. Got a shiny, uh, Franco. My sister says, so you need to watch The Greatest Showman. I am aware of this, Murder. If they have really good songs, they probably also have a really good plot. Although that's not always true. Talking to you, Lorax. It's not that the plot wasn't good, it's just that the... It was just not a good movie. Oh, I wanted to make a quote. It was something I said earlier, that now thinking about it, I want other people to read later. <laughs> Fun fact, the rule, rule 34 is also the rule 34 for video, for video games. If there is a character in this said video game, there is a lewd drawing of that character on the internet somewhere. I say if you can complete it, because there are some video games that are just, like, make it as far as you can make it. Like, uh... Subway Surfers. Like, that's... 
that you can't really technically complete. I mean, you can. You can buy all the characters and stuff. But that game lasts an infinite amount of time if you can survive an infinite amount of time. That Rule 34 Bowser art. Most of those will have a crown on their head and be called Bowsette. But they do, in fact, exist. I know because I've seen them. And I don't want to see them ever again. For this happening space, I do not care about collecting coins, because I'll get plenty of those throughout the board anyway. If I hold the if I hold the opposite direction that I'm traveling, I go faster through it. So instead of collecting coins, I just save time. Speedrunning wise, that's a much better strategy. My friend Dylan was obsessed with Bowsette. Have you checked on your friend Dylan lately? I know Bowsette's been gone a long time. they're doing okay. If they cared for Bowsette, they probably hated it when they stopped making that art. Me? I'm fine with ever, never having seen it. But that's not true for everybody. Did you say Splendiferous? I forgot if there was a present needed to beat a specific time and right or left, but my best time in my other file was 30 seconds. So I know I don't have to get under 30. So I know 31, the time that I have now, is good enough. I can't improve it still. Ow, oh, garbage day! Maybe you need to get under 35 seconds, if there is a present for right or left, but thinking about it, I don't think there is. Tennis, fine. Net. Crush it. Alright, let's do the canyons. Just to say we did them.
and a little more speed running lore with this mini game. You only need to play for around 50 seconds at like max capacity and you'll for sure get more butterflies than the rest of them combined. Not combined, but you'll get more butterflies than the rest of them. Especially if you only aim for the blues. I have not lost a board yet, no. I will lose at least one, I can almost guarantee it. But so far, no. Don't you remember the first board that I'm gonna lose is Toad's Midway Madness as DK. Not gonna happen for a while, but it'll happen. She's gonna crush me, isn't she? Yep. I feel like doing the same thing to her. It'll be a blowout. If I do have a least favorite character in this game, it is, in fact, DK. I don't hate DK, but his hit, or his hitbox is around the same as everyone else's to make things as fair as possible for whoever you'd like to play as. But his size does not match his hitbox. So games like... Manta rings, while it looks like you have a huge advantage just because you're a bigger character, the game does not agree. The AI will have 999 stars. You'll be st uh, stuck, stick in hell forever. That's one hell of a blowout. <laughs> Yeah, screw Daisy. She crushed me. It's only fair that I not even make it to her. No, I did. I think I landed on the happening space, too. No, I didn't. Right before it. Mario does seem to be the character the rest are based on. Also, unconfirmed lore, I think DK and Waluigi have the quickest dice roll animations. I think it's by like two frames that they hit their dice block faster because they don't have to jump. But, I cannot confirm that. I did hear that as a rumor, but I don't know if it's true. to go somewhere, but I'll be back later. Sounds good, Mr. Waffle. Then I will see you later. turns are there total in the game? Ninety. Ninety times two. That's one that's about a hundred and eighty saved frames. 
which I think might be 1.8 seconds. No, that's not even... No, that's not true. No. But this game runs at like 30 frames a second. 180 frames? Maybe save you 6 seconds. I mean, if that, if my math is, you know, not completely incorrect in every single possible way, because I have a feeling it might be. Oh, I'm not freaking Mario anymore, I'm Luigi. Okay, we're good. I still boss-ass bitched it. We're good. Damn it, Mario. Played four and a half hours, hours as you, and you screwed me up. Now, didn't even screw me up. Still got a 95. <laughs> 95. Lul. So yeah, if this game runs at about 30 frames a second, which sounds about right for a GameCube game, I'll save one second per board. Which could add up, if that if that rumor is in fact true. I'm not one for like checking out frame data or anything, so I'll let the scientists confirm that. Hi, Aroxis. How are you today? Okay, Daisy. Are we gonna play the Canyon game? I think that's how Fire Dragon played it. Come on. Uh, the old world record holder. Because it looked incredible compared to my scuffed ass looking stream. It looked like Ultra HD. You know, for this game it did. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Mario, no. Did not see how many coins this minigame is worth, so... I'll survive as long as I can. tired today? Well, you know, me too a little bit. Today is one of the first days in a very long time that I woke up without, or I woke up with my alarm, even though I was still tired. Because I knew I was not getting back to sleep, and I wanted to start this run as early as possible, and just, just to make sure that I didn't get tired quicker. I don't know which cornerman. All right, that's a travel. <laughs> Daisy. trying to go for mine. Where are you? Oh, there she is. Okay. <sighs> I 
Never won a game by one coin. I think I won by two coins once. I did win via a tie once. That was stupid. Instead of like, since they didn't really have duels in this game, they were just like, roll a dice block, whoever gets the highest number wins. I won, which is okay, but yeah, what a dumb way to decide the actual winner. Ah, frick, thank you. Maybe that's why I thought it was Mario for the drawing minigame. Here we go, I am not Mario. <laughs> That doesn't help. Not entirely. Yeah. You know who this is, right? That's not specific enough. I'll just split Luigi. Thank you. I'm gonna be furious if I get a tie and I lose to a dice roll. Lose 45 minutes because I got a 6 instead of an 8. Tree stop. Time to finish my Hershey's. Before it melts. You guys saw what happened with Daisy's ball there, right? That was new. I mean, that kind of thing has happened before, but it's never gone that high. Or lasted that long on, sc on, sc Ugh. on screen. Let's see if I remember that after the, this story mode. Let's see if I remember to change it to Peach. Peach is the next one, right? Yeah. So many manta rings.
That's a long time to hold your breath. Wow, this I think this game is going very quickly. Some characters that start landing on more Bowser spaces, so gotta unlock those mini games still. <laughs> Manta Rings is cursed. Knocking on wood. But that's the only minigame that crashes my game entirely. So every time I land on it, I get a little bit more nervous. Uh, Manta Rings. It's only happened three times in the however, however long I've been speedrunning this game, but it's always been Manta Rings. Which is why I turned on autosave for the last two boards for Mario's, uh, for Mario's story mode. Because if I got the Manta Rings curse... Then I would have had to do ev redo every board before that because this game has a weird thing where it doesn't like past saves unless you save during the turn. So while it is faster to turn auto save off, if I get the Manta Rings curse, then then I have to redo every single board for that story character. Yeah. Can't explain it, because I've cleaned my disc a couple times. But, uh, yeah, every once in a while, Manta Rings either does not like the combination of characters on screen at once, or doesn't like a specific ring order or something, but it happens. Probably. It's happened twice on Toad's Midway Madness, so that's when I start to turn on autosave. It would always, it would suck to have to do, redo anything, but. You know, I'm taking that risk just playing this game on its own.
What is Bob Luigi? Okay. Good. Right past the shop. Perfect. Easy peasy. Hey, hello. What's up? All souvenirs run. I'll take a little gander at that. See if it exists. What kind of speedruns does Mario Party 7 have? It have? Oh my goodness. Solo crews all boards. Party crews all boards. Canyons. Finally got it. Credits per cent. Doesn't look like there's an all souvenirs. Oop. They're slow. Okay, shut up. See, Mario got the short path, and he still couldn't keep up. Um, solo cruise all boards is only 45 minutes. That might be something I'd look into. Well done. Interesting. I might be I might uh think about doing a party cruise all boards too. Just pick a difficulty and roll with it, because it's basically the same as this. I'm fine with that. I like King of the River. Like a lot. Like I would only... I would only want to play Mario Party 7 with other people until I discovered King of the River. Then I didn't need other people.
Haluigi. game. Oh, that's true, isn't it? Big Bowser? To get Balloon of Doom. Look at all the coins we all have. Damn it. Alright, Daisy could still get it too. Smart Party 7. Wow. Any number of turns on the board? <laughs> For Mario Party 7, all boards speedrun? Why would you do anything other than 10? Good job, Daisy. Didn't even watch. Hmm. I'm interested in the types of possibilities we can do for speedruns. What order would it be? I mean, just from personal experience. Ooh. Maybe we can get a Bowser. Four, seven, six, and then five. In terms of how much fun I had playing each one. All their items. No, my mushrooms! I mean, four, I... I'm still playing. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna put that at the top. Seven I played the most of, other than four. New game, too. Booyah. And I like six better than five. But I still need to play more of both of them. But yeah, I thought five was the weakest of, the, of them all. It's not even terrible, it's just the weakest. Well, that's not what I wanted. Six, four, seven, five. I think we could both agree that six is really good. Like, really good. It's just I never played that growing up. I just played it, you know, recently. For the first time. No, not all of Daisy's items. Come on, Mario. You could lose your items. Beanie! 
two things. Let's hear them. No dual mini games, and the board structure sucked. Yep, my brother hated the board structure too. To me, it makes it seem more like a board game than an actual, like, place on in the Mushroom Kingdom. Like, obviously, everything, you know, in between, like, any, like, the spot above that red space, that could be filled in. But it looks most like a board game. Considering it's, like, on a perfect grid. And to me, that's what I like the most about it. But I do understand not liking that, because none of them, like, followed that same structure. Alright, with your soup is... Daisy? Okay. We're good. Soup cone fry fry. Oh no. Oh, fry fry, fry fry, fry fry night! Okay, we're good. I was with my brother I'd play more Mario Party with him off stream. We haven't done that yet. I didn't pay attention to any of them, I'm just gonna guess. Boop! Boop! We're the bastards! <laughs> Five was the dreams, wasn't it? Yeah, five was the dreams. I did manage to save all my candy bars. Ish. I'm gonna have my last Kit Kat now. Wow. It was. But we follow Talladega Knight's rules here. If you're not first, you're last. Speaking of first, top that goon bitch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get for trash talking. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, universe. And I'm losing.
Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I need you to get a three, Goomba. Ah, Twitch. Yep, that's it. Well... Yes, karma. That's what I thought. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> don't trash talk. Don't get cocky. Don't do anything that would make the Mario Party gods upset you. Or be upset with you. I don't know. Words are hard sentences or something. Five? Three? Okay, I'm gonna play this next one with a straight face. I'm not gonna say or think a damn thing. I freaking knew it. I didn't say anything, game. What do I think the Mario Party gods look like? Um, if they have a face cam, you could see for yourself at twitch.tv slash silo underscore Simon. Looks exactly like that. Shout out to Silo Simon. I think he has at least one speed run in every game. Or every Mario Party game. Goombutt sucks. <laughs> Thank you, Butts. Butts, Butt. I like how the only time Goomba gets a negative is when he has zero points to lose.
what a totally fair, very fun minigame that I don't hate at all in any way. I should still probably stop trash-talking it, because Binglet's right. I do have to do that six more times. They're very spaced apart, but I do have to do that a lot more. Look at my empty house. It's got a single exercise bike in it. I will not be trying it here, but I wonder if I can update and edit splits as I'm going through a speedrun. Because with me starting at a kind of a wonky timer, meaning, uh, I had the time between when I beat Bowser with Mario and starting the run as Luigi. I can't exactly get an accurate time about when I started Luigi's run unless I do the math. And I kind of want to add uh, eight more splits between the final battle for one character and the game start for the next character after that. Just so that I can get a more accurate, like, spot where Luigi's run starts and where Peach's run will start after Luigi's is over. Because <clears throat> I can do the math and figure out if I can get a world record run for just, you know, normal gameplay. But it would be a lot easier if I didn't have to do that. Frick. There he is. Turn. I'm gonna go up. If I can make it. Freaking frith. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm like all over the internet. I gotcha. Wreck it, Ralph. Just kidding. That movie sucked, by the way. Yeah. 
Alright, uh, dog soup ham cone. Dog soup. Oh, okay. Yep, thanks, Wario. Ham cone ham. I feel like it's, it's gonna be a hamburger round. Nope. Thanks again, Wario. That might be my problem. I always compare it to the first one, which was a masterpiece. But, yeah, I didn't... didn't like it at all. Fry fry cone soup ham. What? He picked them both up! How is that not a tie? Soups. That was bonkulous. That one. That one. Wario, you. Okay. To me, it was like classic Disney doing a sequel kind of movie. Even though the artwork was, like, the exact same. I was just like, yeah, it's, you, you tried. But, yeah. I love the part with all the princesses, but that was about it. Well, Luigi's gonna crush us all. Reese's not amount of I'm out of candy snacks. When is the next Disney animated movie coming out? Is there one scheduled? Or one that I should have heard about but didn't yet? I'm guessing that should have been out by now if it weren't for COVID. Because I remember seeing those trailers like maybe a year ago at this point. I'm 
fact, what was the last Disney movie I watched? I missed Onward. I never got a chance to see that. Um, what was the most recent movie before Onward? It couldn't have been Moana. There's no way. That came out like four years ago. Maybe Frozen 2? That was after Moana. Will you stop crushing us, Waluigi? Peach didn't even have coins. Toxic. Oh, identifying luck in Mario Party 4. Thank you. It's finally out. I wonder if it'll be helpful to me to watch that. Because while I couldn't explain nearly as much as the person who made that video could, I'm willing to bet I at least understand it. You called Peach Peach. <clears throat> oh, that's fine. I mean, I do have two monitors, and my uh, desktop audio is off because I don't really need it. I got the mic, I got Elgato. So I could watch it on my own. You just wouldn't hear it on stream. He's gonna buy a lamp. Nope, warp pipe. LOL! Domination, Book Squirm, Mario Medley I got, I'm playing Paratrooper Plunge right now. Coins, so it's pretty even. Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, six hours ago. Hi, stream. So, um, what do you want? Are you ordering now? Uh, yeah, well, it's gonna order in like. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Uh. You can choose a place, and then I'll look at the menu. No, I'll probably get like two or three, just to keep me sustained. Either pizzas or two or three food items, like wings and a pizza, or breadsticks, something like that. Okay. I'm fine with that. No, let me look at the menu.
That is Z. He did say hi. I don't know if you heard him. Hi, Item bags are never worth it, to be honest, so... Brass Roses says hi. Hello. He says hi back. I don't know if you heard that. Probably would have been better for me to go down and steal Wario's coins or something. I am... <laughs> I am on Boo's board, which is the second... second in the run, with the second character out of eight. Yeah. Had a really, really decent Mario story. It's gonna be a lot harder to tell after this, but. So, do you want, um, large, medium, or medium? Um. Just for myself, I'd probably. I could probably work with a medium. I might get one pizza and then a thing of wings. Like, two food items. I don't know if it's gonna be two pizzas or not. Water. Um, probably pepperoni bacon. Um, what kind of cheese sauce is there? Or sauce is there? No sauce? That's... yeah, no. I will, I will pay you, by the way, so I'm, okay. I'm gonna get a... Oh, yeah, my, my Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get two pizzas. One with classic marinara, and then one with creamy garlic parmesan. Sounds good. Uh, I don't, but I don't know what I want on the second one. Lovers is expensive. Bone in. I'd like wings, not nuggets. Go twelve. This will probably be my lunch for the next couple of days, but. I want to make sure I don't run out today. How, how much is... How much are two six pieces? Because I kind of want two different flavors, but... I don't want to, you know, pay double. If I don't have to. I can work with that. Uh, garlic parmesan wings, and then some kind of mild but spicy wings. Mm. 
No, I'm good. I can pass on that. Good, I turned off the boot train. Before any of them got to it. Saved a bit of time. What is that last minigame? No. Oh, buffalo medium. Maybe I'll be in so much pain from eating them that I will lose all tiredness. Dessert. I still those homemade brownies. Uh, did you already like get the pizza order? It was a pepperoni bacon, pepperoni bacon with marinara sauce. Okay. Um. See, create your own and get started, but... Oh, there we go. Okay. Hand toss. Creamy garlic parmesan. Oh, wait, no. Pan pizza is good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Uh... Press flavor. Um, say more. Pepperoni and beef. Sounds interesting. Yeah. No, I'm good. Do they cost extra? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. So I do like me some green peppers. I don't know if that's gonna work well on that pizza, but it sounds good. The one you got Friday let you down? Oh, I'm sorry. Where'd you get it from? Aroxas? trapped. Papa John's? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like Papa John's. Been let down the last couple of times. To me, Papa John's has always been school pizza. Whether it be like the school that teachers bring in during pizza parties, and you're like, well, this could be a lot better. Or like school pizza. Like, how do I explain it? Like pizza that the cafeteria lunch ladies make. They certainly gave it their best effort, and it's technically a pizza. But that's it. Yeah, that's always been Papa John's for me. Okay. Yeah. That'll feed me for like three days. Sounds good. 
Thanks, man. Okay, okay. I need a spot. I'm gonna put that. Yeah, pizza party pizza. That's like Papa John's. And it was better than like, you know, school made pizza. It was a treat because school made pizza was like always really doughy and like on a good day 90% cooked on a really good day warm I know Papa John's is better than that but yeah There's so many tier lists I want to make. I want to make a cereal tier list. Because I know Lemon and I were, like, discussing that a little bit ago. Now I want to make a pizza tier list. I did make a, uh... Best Bacon Cheeseburger tier list. Checkers and rallies top that list with the Baconzilla. <clears throat> My S tier cereal, Honey Nut Cheerios. Without a doubt. I'm guessing if I liked raisins, then Raisin Brand would be the top of that list. That seems to be a top of a lot of people's lists. I don't like raisins, though. Wheaties, though. Those are... Wheaties are fantastic. That's A-plus tier. She crushed all of us, didn't she? Yep. Bitch. Yeah, I need to. I want to make an actual tier list instead of just like discussing them. That way, I can have like all the cereals in my mind. Like I don't forget any of them. Uh, it could be like video proof. Yeah, these are the these are the best cereals, hands down. Go up, Wario. Get the top one. You got this. Ah, oh, I pressed the button, I promise. Also up there, like the A-plus tier, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Never in my life have I had a bad day if my breakfast started with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I mean, that's, that's like 90% of cereals are the ones that sound like that. Cause yeah, I'm, I've only been eating healthy cereals the past couple of years, but... I mean, that's like, most cereals have like a bunch of sugar in them. That's what I know. Better as a snack cereal? 
Yeah, I would agree with that. They're probably just as good. Ooh, this is a great spot to land. All my notes got deleted, but I did make a best bacon cheeseburger from a fast food place tier list. So I don't remember all of them. And a McDonald's is at the bottom. They did in fact have a bacon cheeseburger one day. I don't think they do anymore. Probably because it was so terrible that nobody wanted it. Luigi, come on, boy. There we go. Good job, Wario. Okay, game. What was number two? I think it was Jack and Jack in the Box's ultimate bacon cheeseburger. I think that was the second best. Wait, making that tier list. Hey, Boondog. Okay, um... Good job, buddy. Shall we get Balloon of Doom? Ah. Tax 
Axes. Gotta get that last Bowser game. Damn it. Frick, 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 frick. I lost it for us. Sorry, team. Or maybe not. Alright, Peach screwed it up. Frosted mini wheats. You know, I've never had frosted mini wheats. Not as a cereal, not as a snack. Just never, ever picked that out. Soaked paper. Hmm. 
I can't agree with the paper and the milk thing, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I did eat a fair amount of paper. <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, Waluigi. Thanks, Z. Wow, it's already over? There was like no battle games. Maybe like one or two. Alright, RNG minigame, technically number four. Let's go for the flute. Oh yeah. Like this. There's one more flute.
Good. Took one away from him. Mm-hmm. Come on, game. Come on, game. Oh, I don't want to rules. Yeah, that's about... That's about Boo and Goomba, in a nutshell. Alright, let's go for flute. Alright, let's go for piano. I don't think so, but I mean, that's okay. That was more of a yawn. Party! Double party. Daisy, you can't be scared of the boxes. Daisy! You moron. Oh my gosh, Daisy.
Triple party. No, never mind. Damn it, I fucked up. Which is one. Or is one. There we go. New record. New record. Yeah, I'm the best. Yeah, I got one too. I am fine with this. Cool, now Daisy's in front of me. I can crush her. Oh no, you were so close, Waluigi. a battle game. Make Wario lose his coins too. Hey! Ah, that's not enough. Alright, well... Boon. Relax, dude. Relax. <laughs> You're so threatening from under the bed, dude. Relax, Boone.
play for way too long. I could have ended that a lot, a lot sooner. Has more than enough. All right. All right. Excuse me, damn. All right. I don't need you to do another battle game. So let's go down. Yeah, that was a hick for sure. Alright, well... Yeah, cool! I... yeah. Great, okay, at least it's a fish. A second. Yeah. It's a good thing these aren't individual runs. I would have reset by now. Hey, oh. Place it on top. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Z with food. Best type of Z fighting. Sighting fighting. Roxas, do you play Among Us? Or did you play Among Us with the Z squad? That's close. I almost missed that jump. You want to get it? The Z might just buy it for you. He said he was going to buy it for me so that... I don't know. Maybe he'd guilt me into playing it? No, I doubt it. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Z said he'd get it for me so that I could play with everybody. right at my feet. Booyah. That means I have napkins, so I could just eat food. 
So I'm probably going to be muted for a little bit while I eat, because I don't want it to just, you know, be the only noise y'all hear. That'd be kind of gross. I'm not into that kind of thing, so that's just not what my stream's about. Uh... I'm sure there'd be an open spot, yeah. Uh, I think the, I think recently he has, he's had like, maybe seven people in his lobbies. I think it holds up to ten, right? Among us lore masters. Yeah, I think he's had seven lately. I know Lemon is usually a part of that group. So yeah, I think he'd have enough room for all three of us if we were to, uh, if we were to play with him. If we were all to get among us and, you know, he'd be available and so would the rest of the crew. So yeah, if you, if, if both y'all do want to play among us, I'm sure he'd be down and have enough space for all of us. Alright. Nine. I wonder why he capital. I don't want blah, 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 blah. I wonder why butt spot capitalizes numbers when he replaces butt with numbers. Oh. I've already lost track of who's has what the happenings and all that jazz. Army of Reptilians, thank you for the one bit. How you doing? Oh my goodness. I think uh, Wario and Waluigi both have three. I have one. I think Daisy has two. Just meh. I'm sorry. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'll be doing this for a very long time. Over the next 40 hours. Oh no, I thrift it! Uh. R Y R A R Y R A A Aww. I'm sorry to hear that. Had an interview and it went really well. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you. I hope you get your new job. I'm sorry to hear about your old job, though. That's never fun.
Ooh, that smells good. It would be an improvement. I gotcha. Competing against P. P? Former co-workers that apply for it as well. Oh, okay. Is this the pace? Uh, yes. I believe so. I cycle. So, army, does that mean, like, other people from your old job? Like, is it a... What was my, what was my thought process? Is it a position at, like, the same company? But other people from that same company are still trying to apply for it? Or were you just, like, really close and you just happened to apply for the same job at some other company? Or a different situation, which I didn't think of. Wow. What happened at your uh, old company, if you don't mind me asking? Like, that's a lot of people to let go. Could have used his splits, but his was his were a little bit different than mine, so I just took like 30 minutes to make my own based on what I needed.
And uh, with the world record holder, he decided to do the minigame presence before he finished the last story mode. I would rather do every story mode first, and then at the end, I'll do the minigame presence that I'm missing, and then after that, I'll check for the party star trophy. But I'm on a good pace, at least for now. Of course I said that. Technically, yeah. I think when he was doing Yoshi, it was either Yoshi or Waluigi. Um, his game crashed, and he had to redo three boards and finish the board that he was currently working on. So he lost a lot of time because his game decided to poop itself. I know I could use a lamp to take the star from Daisy, who's just about to get it. That's the missing mini game. That's right. Okay. Uh, but I want to keep my lamp in case uh, fortune space emergency. So if I lose two stars from one fortune space, which is possible, I'd uh, really hate it. Daisy, this is only your fault. You know my strategy when it comes to stamp out. Oh yeah, this is a new save. Maybe she doesn't. Is sub-40 doable? Very, if I do not sleep. And I get pretty flawless boards every time. I do expect to sleep, though. Even if it's just for like an hour, an hour and a half, I probably will need to sleep. I should probably add pause champ. I don't get a lot of Spongebob references, but I get that one. So does Luigi.
Oh, I'm going. Oh, I'm going for first. I'll be furious if I get second. Cuz I can save up to like 5 hours. Like I realized upon watching the uh world record run, the only reason that this person got the world record in my opinion is because nobody else wanted to go for it. Like, it's very easy to beat his time. It's just it cannot be segmented. Otherwise, it would be a lot lower and have a lot more people, like, on the leaderboard. Because people saw the 50-hour world record and thought, Ah, uh, yep, nope, not gonna do that. Uh, I am crazy enough to try to beat that, and I I know a lot more than the person who has the world record knows about this game. Like, I practiced the Jigsaw Jitters puzzles that I need to complete. This guy did not. Uh, I got good at Beach Volley Volley. Beach Volley Folly. To where I can beat it in one try. I think it took him, like, maybe an hour and a half. Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty... Pretty confident. I'll beat the world record. I will be taking a nap just to make sure that I don't, you know, fall asleep on stream or just, you know, faint or die. And, um, I'll have Brett try to wake me up. I have, I'm gonna have an alarm set, but I did ask Z to make sure that I do, in fact, wake up with my alarm, and if I don't, then he'd be the one to wake me up. Coming from left field, he can he can maybe get his hard mode world record back, but he is kind of playing hyperscape and Fall Guys in like professional tournaments for thousands of dollars. I don't think I don't think the Mario Party Four world record is at the top of his mind right now. I don't blame him. So yeah, he can do that, and I'll keep my Mario Party 4 record. Hello.
Fall Guys? Of course there's Fall Guys tourneys. If there can only be one winner, if it's a... I mean, it's kind of considered a battle royale. If there can only be one winner in a game, there's going to be tourneys for it. Of course. He's been competing in like $5,000 Fall Guys tournaments and like $10,000 Hyperscape tournaments. I know I did take his world record, but I don't think... I think that's the least of his worries right now. Good. Got him. Is it really that easy to make bread? Yeah. If you're good at a video game, and that video game is popular, then yeah. Of course. The video game has to be popular, though. I mean, I'm positive you are correct, but that's not human nature. People want to feel like winners. And what better way to feel like a winner than with a cash money prize? I should use a Mega there. <clears throat> Just because I was one away from a battle. Oh yeah, it's a really weird game to make competitive. Like, there's no reason for it. I don't even know how you, like, would set up a lobby. I thought you couldn't, but... That's people. A big Bowser and I need Balloon of Doom. Well, maybe not. I still got six characters and four more boards, or three more boards, but yeah. I need to unlock all mini games. That is the last one I need.
job, team. Yeah, I mean... I personally don't get it, but that's just because I don't like BR games. Never really have. Like, I don't get why that's such a popular genre. But, I mean... It is. People love to be the last one standing. Yeah, that's partly why I stopped playing Fortnite. Like, I was giving BR a try, but those people building castles in front of me, the second they saw me, that I was, yeah. <laughs> I was never going to match their skill level with that, and I didn't care to try, so. I just gave up. Surprise it's still popular, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like, how can you really determine who's the best at, like, Fortnite if it is RNG, where you land and what you get? Are you sure you're just not unbelievable with a sniper, but... If you can't find one, then you're just bad. Like, that doesn't help determine anybody's worth in that game. Like, if you're competing for your worth or for money, then yeah, RNG like that doesn't help at all. So I don't understand esports when it comes to that.
could use this time to put some pizza away. I need to save a lot of this for later. Hockey sounds good. You'll probably still see me online whenever you're done, whenever you fall asleep, and whenever you wake up, back up. <laughs> so I'll see you later. Uh, excuse me. Three. Oh, cool. I was one of the three. I didn't think I was. All right. I thought it was Daisy. Cool. All right. Destroyed. Five stars. I didn't even need to do that last one. I'll find a moment. I'm gonna find a way to put my pizza down. Still in the second chapter. Yep, I'm. Uh, I'm getting there. I prefer to think of it as I'm already on the second chapter. Makes it seem like I'm further than I actually am. Ah. 
Good, I'm last. That gives me time to put my wings down. I got two pizzas and two six-piece wings. Just to make sure that I always have food available to me. Plus a sandwich from yesterday that I didn't end up eating. Alright, let's do this now. Oh no. Angry shy guy noises. Three turns? What? Damn, dude. Do I want to crush them? I kind of want to crush them. another one. I want to crush him again. Yeah! I'm so toxic. I'm bottom left. Okay. Stay on the bottom. There we go. Ah, Twitch. Where are you going, Wario? Yeah, that wasn't even close. Alright. Half a pizza was my lunch. The other half will be my dinner. Good. Nobody's getting that star for a very long time. Ah. 
Ah, oh, I can't crush him with a one. That's what I deserve, to be honest. I said I'd crush him. I might not even make it to DK. All right, I just won't crush anybody. That was dumb. Ow, ow, ow. Flood, my goodness. DK. Kinda helped. Oh, there we go. I thought he'd take that. Yeah. 
Didn't want to do that. Oh well. Hey. Oh wow, DK lived. Sort of. He's right behind you. Why did you do that? That was so confusing. Oh, it's debated. Okay. <laughs> That's why I did it. Crush DK? Yeah, he's he might get the he might buy a lamp next turn. We don't like that. Plus we get to skip the battle game. So much for taking his coins, now it doesn't matter. Let's try Mario. Hey Mario. Remember when I crushed you at the beginning? That was that was uh not for you. I meant to crush DK. That was it. Mhm. Mm that was it. I don't I don't want you to crush me back. That would be uh very rude. Let's uh let's not do that, okay? Brother? Buddy? Let's get a two. Then he can't crush me. Ha ha ha. 
See? I'll just get a two. Mario. Oh, Wario. Okay, we still won. Thought we both had 12. DK, don't you do it. If he gets high enough roll, he's going to crush me. I'm not here for it. DK, good man. Good call. Good whatever you are. It's starting, chat. Getting, like, slap happy. I'll be fine. I think I just need to turn on the light. It's kind of dark in here. I'm gonna do that right now, actually. It's a little bit better. Lol. Bowser Space, let's get a uh, Balloon of Doom. I got it. Dang it. 
Good roll, DK. Good dodge, good dodge. Easy peasy. Good, those are all garbage. He's gonna get the super mini, but those are all terrible. Hi, Claire. How are you today? Ah. Land on a mushroom. I don't like that. That's good to hear. Me too, so far. I have a very long stream left ahead of me. shit me at this game. Cool, I took a I took a guess that it was gonna be A. Oh I took a guess again. It didn't work. I garbage Riff So is Mario Sweet boy, thank you. So, Claire, how do you feel about Mario Party? You a fan? I ask because I'll be doing this for a very long time.
Ads that warn you about cigarettes are disturbing. Disturbing how? Is it like those commercials where the people are melting? So the two bits, by the way. Thank you for the three bits. Happy Shy Guy noises. Shy Guy noises on stream. Aww. Yay! Happy Shy Guy bit sound noises. Poor DK. <sighs> okay. That's close. I thought I landed on that battle. I almost dumbed it. Tree stop. Also good. Well done.
Alright, well, that's in front of me, so... Just gotta get up there fast enough. Okay, cool. Thanks, game. Look at all those points. I'm kind of worried about if Mario's going to get the Happening Star or not. He may or may not have two. I don't remember. I need, I need like, two tens here. Oh, wait. Never mind. DK got it. Alright, that makes me nervous too. Cool. This is exactly what I wanted. Wow. Eh. Alright, Balloon of Doom. All their items. That's a great idea when nobody has any items. Not yet. I'll get it. Star grape, grape banana, cherry. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, it's definitely bananas.
do pineapple again. Chimichangas, nice. That's tasty. This may or may not be the first board I lose, depending on who gets the happening star. Oh no, not my items. No, Boone. I opened my pizza box. He immediately looked at me. Alright, let's see if I lose. Thanks, Roxas. Thanks for counting my hicks. DK or Mario beat me with happening spaces, then that sucks. <laughs> you can, uh, you can do it again. I mean, it was technically two hicks. Oh, three of them. Okay, that's fine. I was one of the three. <sighs> We're good. All is well. Excuse me. That was a burp. That wasn't. That didn't count. I don't think.
Um, in a situation like that, no. I should have probably bought a lamp or a crystal ball as a backup, but I did not. I do need to do that, though. Hey, Boom Boom. Yeah, uh, the only, like, plan I have in case I do, like, lose a map is learn from it, try not to let it happen again, basically. Oh, yeah, I've been getting a few safety stars. Um, because, yeah, I want to try to lose as few boards as possible. The more boards I lose, then, you know, the more, the less likely it is I'll get world record. Ah. That was another hiccup. Is this going to be a hell... hell board? This is probably going to be a hell board. Okay, um... On this board and Bowser's board, I'm going to put save on every turn. If it was on every board, then it would that time would really add up. But I want to make sure that since I'm f uh, four boards in already, I don't want it to crash. The game sometimes does not like me playing Manta Rings. And uh, if it decides it doesn't like me playing Manta Rings, then it'll just say the disc is unreadable. It'll, uh... I don't know what causes it. But uh, I th I'm pretty sure if I save every turn, then, uh... I'm pretty sure if I save every turn, then I won't have to redo every board if this one crashes. It, I remember the first time it happened, it was on this board. I don't know if it's only this board where it happens, though.
happens, yeah, it takes a little bit longer for it to save every turn, but if it means I don't have to redo the last four boards, then I'm going to take that. I am too. That was what I was counting on. Yoshi. Yeah, I'm surprised this wasn't a segmented run either. I thought it was because when I looked up, when I looked it up, I didn't watch the videos, but it was like split into six sections, making me think that he did six different like spots. It's true, it didn't really say it, but with the only run being one that was RTA. I just decided to, to uh, do that myself. Yeah. I would hate to do like a 50 hour speed run and have it be a rule that it has to be RTA. And then have to redo it. So I'd rather just do it the way that the world record holder did it. And if I do, if it is decided later that I can do an RTA, then I'll probably do it again to make, get an even better time. Where? Apparently, it's probably more valuable in like a 4B or a four player IRL parties. Cause I don't really care for them. But yeah, I'm actually watching it right now. I mean, it's slow to use most items anyway, so... Like, buying a warp pipe and using it, it's like a lot of time lost for me. Oh yeah, humans are much smarter. Humans don't use a warp pipe the turn they buy it when everyone is on the same space as they are. Yeah. 
I'm out of hell. Booyah. Wow. Toxic Yoshi. Double Toxic. Well, the bad thing about that with Toad's Board is the shop is outside of hell. So I think you're more likely to accidentally warp yourself into it than warp yourself out. I mean, depending on the number of turns you can get out, but that is true. Warp pipes are the number one hell killer. Get it, Yoshi! How much did that help you, Mario? You're still stuck in hell. <laughs> I don't know if any of it is, like, really helping me out, though. Because I did learn... I mean, according to... Uploader guy. What's his name? ZoomZK? Uh, he believes that... Uh, warp pipe is like god tier. I can I can believe it. I'm just you know for speed running sake, it doesn't help me much. And so far, it just seems like he's explaining everything. Not really like identifying luck. He's just explaining how each map works. He hasn't he hasn't started with the battle mini games for me yet, but I did learn that. I did learn about the reverse of bomb strat, though. That 
I didn't know you could hold it. Always pay five on Goombas, yep. I'll probably pay five for Goombas if it spawns in the blue zone. So that it's more likely that I land there. Otherwise, I think I'm still safe just not paying anything. Because I usually don't care where I land. Yeah, I'm doing alright. Still got a lot of pizza left, a lot of uh, chicken wings that came with it. I gave up caffeine a while ago, but I could probably use some. Like, it would be very helpful for me to have some. Not soda, but some kind of caffeine, like tea. I'll be fine to do some more characters. I'll probably do at least one board, like the entire time just standing. Public embarrassment be for me? Uh, I'd probably accept that. 
I don't. I didn't think of what public embarrassment would be for me, but I mean, it's a million dollars, and I have the rest of my life to get over it. Yo, shout out to DK. As long as there's no like bodily harm in it. Yeah, screw it. Thanks, DK. It's gonna get that next turn. Might as well get it now. I mean, as long as there's no, like, other punishment in it, other than just being embarrassed, then, yeah, I would do it, but being nude in public is would put you, like, on a sex offender list, which is definitely not worth a million dollars. That'll last you the rest of your life. Not in Ashland. Did something happen? Public nudity is legal? Interesting. Huh. Should I crush DK? I'm gonna just crush DK. Yeah, I probably I would do that if it were legal. I have a million extra dollars and yeah, it'd be embarrassing, but I'd get over it. I'd wipe my tears with a hundred dollar bills. You could have just stepped backwards, Yoshi. Oh. Pop my jaw with that yawn. Holy shit! Yeah. 
Yeah, Mario got like a fat mega combo with that one. Yeah, there'd probably be something like that. Oops, I'm looking at the friggin' video. Since I've always thrown on the Balloon of Doom, I'm kind of learning a lot. I feel like it's kind of like the, not to, not to give too much away, but the second, the second Danganronpa plot. Like, I think I have something embarrassing, but I think I would accept a million dollars for it, like, to be revealed. Okay. Okay. What if I had to act like a man baby in public? Some people do that and, like, that's their whole persona. If that were me, I'd try to make myself the best man baby I've ever seen. Like, throw tantrums in public? I love watching those videos. It makes me cringe, but I love it. like a girl, like in a dress, in a wig. I would do that. I have no shame in dressing like a girl. That's called drag, yeah. Has been the past eight hours and forty six minutes of my life. Pretty good. They were they involved pizza. Uh no board losses or anything like that. One kind of scary moment, but other than that, I I've been good. This is a weird board.
there are bigger forms of public humiliation that people do get paid for, and not nearly a million dollars. Like, you see, do you... You guys ever see those sign flippers that, like, try to advertise their business? Like, this way for deals. The ones that are good at that, those guys are amazing to watch. But if you're, like, trying your darndest... I'm thinking of, like, Jim from, uh, The Office. When he tried to compete against a sign flipper when he had nothing. Like, that was embarrassing. I'm not saying there's, like, no dignity in being like that. That takes a lot of patience. And a lot of energy. Like, if you can get people hyped just by holding a sign and, like, doing nothing else, it's impressive. But yeah, I would... I would kill it. As in, like, murder it dead. And not in a good way. They'd be like, why did we hire this guy? This is Mr. Blob's replacement. I will happily allow that. Stereotypical little girl. Uh, I've seen adult male humans act like that. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. What about comedians grilling you? I would allow that. I'd be fine with that. A lot of those people just do that for attention. Like the roast me challenge. I've never seen a more creative group of insults than on the Roast Me Challenges. I would absolutely do that. I'd probably do that for free. If I was feeling, you know, strong-willed enough to be able to handle it. Like, if I'm in a mood where I don't really feel like people insulting me all day, I probably wouldn't do that, but if I were like, you know what, let's see what people gotta say. I think, I think I'd be willing to try it. Oh, that's so sad, Roxas. Starts out with something like really simple, like, ha, bet you wipe your butt with sandpaper. And you're like, ha, that's a funny one. But by the end, they're like, this is why your father never loved you. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that would probably get dark sad. Uh, that would probably get dark fast. I don't know if that's something I could take, especially if they all, like, stuff like that turned out to be true. I just kind of just said that. I think my dad likes me. Fairly certain.
I think it would have to depend on the insults. Like the roast me challenges, those people always try to go all out. Some people specialize in like certain facial features or body parts that are like, ah, oh, that looks very slightly abnormal. We're gonna target them on that part specifically. Like, I have big cheekbones. That would be probably the number one thing people would target if I were to do a roast me challenge. I'd probably try to make them creative if that was the case, being with. Like, okay, what's the two things that could ruin my reputation? Uh, and that's probably not illegal. If it's something I said that was illegal, I mean, they could probably prove that it's not something that happened. But if it's something that people can't really prove, but are forced to accept because I said it, then I try to get creative with it. It would probably ruin my reputation if I, like, admitted that I stole and ate my sister's kidney. Stealing a kidney is bad enough. Eating it, not even using it, that's just like, oh, why would you do that? What are they going to do? Check my stool for the last 50 years to find out when it was exactly that I ate my sister's kidney? No, they'll just have to take their word for it. Or check to see how many kidneys my sister has. I would make it creative. I could only eat Cheetos the rest of my life. I wouldn't accept a million dollars if I had to eat only Cheetos for an entire week. One bag, like one fun sized bag of Cheetos, that's enough to last me the rest of the month. After that, I'm just done. Cheetos are gross after that point. No matter what flavor, if they're soft, if they're crunchy, if they're like popcorn shaped or the swirly kind, I'm just, nope. That was a good amount of Cheetos, I'm done. I wanna see what this, what this is. Oh, it opened your page. That's not what I wanted, I wanted the clip. Sad. <sighs> I mean, I've never done a roast me challenge. I don't really know how they work other than people get really creative with their comments. Like, if you have one tiny zit on your forehead, people are going to be all over that. The best insults are, like, the hand-drawn comics. That, like, over-accentuate something that you're kind of, like, 
mildly upset about. Like, you have a slightly bigger forehead than average. But the people that draw those comics are going to make your forehead like a football field. And... Yeah. They're very funny and very creative, if you ask for them. But if someone were to just draw that and send it to me... Of, like, something that upsets me, I'd be like, What is the matter with you? $10,000 if you had to relive the worst day of your life... For an entire week. I would not do that. I'm gonna be real sad boy moments for uh, for a hot second. I kind of had to relive the worst day of my life for about a year and a half. Because it was something I literally could not get my mind off of. It's okay. I have a pretty precious puppy. Hi, sweetie. He's kind of hard to see. Oh, no, it's okay. I got better. Like, yeah, it was a pretty horrible time in my life, but I'm still here. Shout out to therapy. Really helps. That's something I used to be like afraid to admit. Like, yeah, I talk to a therapist. I don't really care anymore. I'm not going to talk about what I talk about, of course, but yeah. And the stigma. If your mental health needs fixing, do what you can to fix it. Would you accept free food forever if everything was crazy spicy? Does that mean the food that I buy is not spicy? Like, is everything free, but everything is spicy? Or is only free food extremely spicy? Because if that's the case, I'll just continue buying food. All food is spicy? I'm going to have to pass. I like spicy every once in a while. Like, I bought spicy wings to help keep myself awake. Probably eat those during Yoshi's story mode. But I'm probably not going to eat something spicy for at least another two weeks after that. Oop. Therapy is good. Got me through the worst time of my life. I cannot say anything but good things about therapy. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I'd rather just buy food than have everything be spicy. Ooh, look at 
look at all the points. Questions like this, like would you rather, or would you take the money if. Uh. No, they're not bad. I'm just trying to think of my own. I'd encourage you to keep making more of them. I like answering these. Like, how much money would someone need to pay you? To never have access to the internet ever again. A billion dollars to lose your sense of taste. Billion's a lot of money, but food is worth it. If I lose my sense of taste, I feel like my sense of smell would go way up. And I'd just be able to know what food tastes like just based on the smell. I wouldn't be very happy for the rest of my life, but I'd have a billion dollars. How much, how worth it is that? I wouldn't be as happy as I am now tasting food, but I'd never have to worry about, like, financial situations ever again in my entire life. Uh, part of me wants to say it's worth it. But sometimes food is like its own comfort. Actually, hmm. no, I don't think it's worth it. I wouldn't do it. The taste of any food is worth more than a billion dollars. Oh god, water would be like lukewarm all the time. Oh. Water's taste is in its temperature. Cold water. Way, way better than lukewarm water. Oh, I can drink warm water too. I had to at some points during my trip. You know, just tasting cool, cold water. So much more worth it. And here's here's why I would not take the billion dollars. For me, personally. Have any of you ever had oatmeal? And not dry oatmeal, but cooked oatmeal.
Waffle would take it. Never taste the water again. Okay. To me, oatmeal is the most disgusting mush I've ever had. Which is weird because I don't taste it at all. It might just be the texture, which makes me hate it. Which makes me hate it so much. But if everything tasted like nothing, like oatmeal, like the same way like oatmeal tastes like nothing, I would go crazy. And that billion dollars would get donated to somebody that has sanity intact because I will lose my mind. Oatmeal to me is filth. You'd eat a whole lot healthier? That's probably true. Probably eat whatever you want. You wouldn't taste it. Your body would react to it, but... You know, that's probably why I don't like oatmeal, because I do make mine with water. That'd probably be like the same as... M I mean, I make protein shakes with milk. I like the way milk tastes. It goes down a lot easier if it's in a protein shake. Maybe that just means I have to make oatmeal with milk instead of water. So how much different is it going to be, really? So that, uh, the liquid part of your shake is, like, no extra calories or vitamins or minerals. It's just, whatever's in your shake, that's your meal. The water, that's just there to help it go down a little bit easier. Milk gives it flavor, but it makes it a little bit more unhealthy. You could definitely drink protein shakes with water once you take that billion dollars. Easy peasy. Two sizes too big. That way it's easier to take off. It feels more like a jacket. I don't mind pulling up my sleeves like every day. I get really uncomfortable in a really tight shirt.
Yeah, I'm currently a medium. Wearing an X, wearing XL shirts probably wouldn't bother me too much. It'd be like wearing sleep shirts all the time for me. It'd be a little bit annoying, but not nearly as annoying as a really tight shirt. Yes, well done, you. Well done, you lot. I drink water for that last water. Well done. Bless you, dude. Damn, that was quick as hell. Would you rather? I like would you rathers. Only be able to whisper or only be able to shout? I feel like only being able to shout would do me a lot of good because my voice is really quiet already. Plus, I think whispering hurts my voice rather than, like, more so than shouting does. I know that sounds weird, but... I don't know. To me, whispering sucks so much worse. Dang, 71 coins for catching a big fish. Waffle absolutely loves that Mike Wazowski face.
compared to Mr. Bob, I love it so much. So much better. I'm fricked it frick. Dab. Oh, I don't go to the bar. That's why I fucked it up. What an angel. All my hair. I mean, I already get, like, full-on buzz cuts, so I know the feeling of having, like, very little hair. Bald is not that far off from what I usually get. Half of mine is already gone. Stupid genetics. It's a feels bad moment. Uh, looks like Waluigi will be getting the first star. Yeah, teeth are way more important than hair to me. Believe me, I love my liquids. But having only liquids is not ideal. And if I have no teeth, then I can only drink liquids. I'll have to eat, like, sauce. Or something like that. Hats exist for two reasons. This sounds like it's about to be a really good quote. <laughs> Bald people in the run. <laughs> it was almost a... Nah, it was almost a good quote. Uh, yeah. Well, no, not even then. Some hats are just fashion. You have a big giant sun hat during a rainy day at the beach. Rachel Green style. Yeah, it's fugly, but it's just fashion. It's going good. I'm saving more time. Yeah, I had uh, about half of it. No wings, no other piece of pizza, so this will last me a while. And hopefully the spicy one will keep me up. The spicy wings. Excuse me. I'll, uh... Uh, I prefer, like, something that's called juice, even though there's 0% juice, than a monster. But, I'll keep that in mind. Would you rather forget who you are every time it rains? What, like, okay, when the rain stops, does that mean I remember, or, like, is it only, does it only work during rainstorms? Yeah. 
I feel like I could get used to the second one. I feel like I would just get into the habit of, like, writing down everything I need from another room. Or I would just never leave the room. And I'm a streamer, I kind of already do that. Unless it's to use the restroom, in which case... I'll just write on my hand, use the restroom, and then return. I think I can get used to writing down stuff like that, so I think I'd go for the second one. It goes back to normal. That sounds like something you could not prepare for. Like, you can get a forecast of, like, when it's gonna rain and mentally prepare yourself to just, like, forget everything. But there are sudden showers. Speaking of showers, does every, like, shower I take become, like, an existential crisis? Or is it only outside rain? Oh, yeah. Especially during a test waffle. Hi, Haley. We're doing Would You Rathers. We're doing Would You Rathers, Million Dollars Butt, and, uh, the, and the like. If you have any good ones, let us know. I'm always down to answer. Like, whatever. Because, yeah, if I write down on my hand uh, what I need to do whenever I enter a new room... While I would forget in my mind, it would just be written on my hand, which I will eventually look at my hand. Or I'll just have a list, like, stapled to my forehead like this, so that when I do enter a new room, it's just, like... First, I figure out what's going on. And then I realize, oh, hey, there's a list stapled to my forehead. I should probably read it. And then, uh, yeah, things will work out. Gosh, all caps. Figured what out? Hello? Did he unlock the mysteries of life? into a new room while it was raining.
It wasn't raining when they were out when they were outside, but as soon as they walked into the new room, being a school, it started raining. Thus their minds imploded. Damn. Yay, the boring one. Ah. If you had to pick one animal to eat for the rest of your life, what would you pick? gonna be steak is pretty good but is it worth giving up bacon and ham I mean, you could still eat, like, yeah, you could still eat pork chops and ham. Bologna made from pigs? I don't remember. And bacon. Like, if you choose pig, and you're, it's not, and that's just the only animal you can eat. You could still eat vegetables and plants and fruit and stuff. But if you had to pick a protein for the rest of your life. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner in one animal. You're not wrong. Wario. You want to use your mini mega hammer on the first place person and make him mega so that he skips the star. You fucker. <laughs> he listened to me, he just didn't give a shit. He's like, or you could play this battle mini game for us. What a bitch. Yeah, compared with how little I have steak, I would probably pick pig as well. I blame you, Wario.
Easy. Cone soup, dog soup. Cinnamon? Supreme ham cone. Can't say that I have. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> cone dog fry burg. <laughs> cone dog fry ham. Right there. Good job, Wario. One or two. It's not that I don't want Waluigi to get the star. I mean, obviously I don't. It's just I don't want the next star to spawn right in front of him again and me pass it up. Oh, for fuck's sake! DK, you didn't even move. Whoa! Good, I was trapped. Wario. He was trapped, lol. Valorant. Good luck, buddy. What the frick? Okay. Never mind. Well, no, no. They pizza kind of goofed. All right, these these last two coupons, they're they're still good. But this first one, oh my gosh! Actually, I'm fine with this. This first coupon expires seven thirty one twenty twenty. They gave me a two month old, or one and a half month old expired coupon. The other two are 930 2020, but still. What the hell's going on, Pizza Hut? I mean, I'm not going to use any of these, but I'm tearing that one right off. Alright, guys. I don't use coupons, so I don't know how coupon codes work. 
but I feel like if I, I don't know. If I share this coupon code with you, will you guys be able to use it? Who knows coupon lore? Because both of these come with coupon codes. I wouldn't though. I mean, good people use coupons. This is brilliant. He's not even close to getting the star now. In fact, we might get the Balloon of Doom. I just want Balloon of Doom! Another star. Because one of these coupons is a large specialty for up to five toppings for a, for ten ninety nine. That sounds like a really good deal. Five topping pizza. And the other one is $19.99 for a large specialty and a large one topping. Those sound kind of worth it. I would, I would give those coupons away. I'm gonna go for it. YOLO! Oh, sub-125, easy. Oh, sub-120. Last turn is Luigi. <laughs> Mario has nothing. So sad to watch. Is it pronounced coupon or coupon, by the way? Or C 
cup on. Wario ended the game with eight coins. I'm so proud of him. He kind of technically did something. Well done, buddy. Nope, nobody. Okay. God, this one's ugly.
Alrighty. Nine minutes ahead of schedule. Not bad. <sighs> Eight separate butt attempts. Thanks, butt spot. That's true. I know this one and the previous one I did not. Because this one was around five hours, like, maximum. I think a little bit more, actually. And Mario's was, like, ten minutes off, but... True, I could still get a good record for the rest of the characters. Alright, stretching time. Yeah, I'm still playing on hard. Stretching time, restroom time. I'll be right back as soon as the credits start playing. BRB. Yep, BRB.
Alright. I found more snacks. So that's kind of neat. Some cupcakes. And... But I something I found called coffee cakes. Which the first ingredient is sugar. So that'll probably keep me up. And here we go. Party number three. Um, not from Hostess, from Dolly, Dolly Madison Bakery. Their fan buttock. I mean, if it's anything like coffee, coffee helps keep people up or wake people up. And since the first ingredient is sugar, that means there's more of that than anything else. Um, yep. Let's do it. Peach. Probably the same thing, yeah. I believe it. So yeah, while I will probably be eating a lot of, like, empty calories today, these will definitely keep me up. Ah, oh, I forgot. Dang it. I, t I said I'd probably remember it. I didn't. Thank you, Hannah. I am Peach. I gotta remember that I'm actually playing as Princess Peach. Which does not happen often. It also answers the question if people were to come in and ask how I'm doing. I'm gonna try to save these for as long as I can because I'm still full from the pizza. Also, I gotta do this. Let's see if I remember next time. I say before I inevitably, inevitably forget next time. Another flub. Blame it on the crane. Make you feel insane. minor minigames. I have some questions about Waluigi. What does he know? What can he do? 
He's always, like, part of the squad when it comes to, like, racing and tennis and Mario Party. But what is his, like, purpose? This is not me rambling because I'm tired, because I'm not. I'm just, like, really curious. What is the meaning of Waluigi? He's good at cheating. That's what he was put on this earth for? Because I know the last minigame was, it was just that, it was a minigame. He operated a crane to catch people, like, in hamster balls. But that got me thinking, what does Waluigi know how to do in life? He can be a crane operator because we just saw him be a crane operator. What kind of crane operating jobs are in the Mushroom Kingdom? Can dance. He is a boss in Mario's DDR game. Although I think he's the first boss. With legs like those, he could probably dance better than anybody. Pops. Hey, let me get something. Thank you. like lore I think people have about Waluigi is fan-made lore. I don't think anybody knows anything about him. He's an enigma. It's curious. Good start for me. quick. Waluigi was born into a poor family in northern France. And then what?
His mother, Walizel, and drunk father, Walleroy. <laughs> this is starting to sound like a biography. He was an only child. His home was foreclosed on. He had to learn how to operate a crane to make it through life. Oh my gosh, she has two stars already. That's annoying. He was a troubled child who didn't have many friends and preferred to read. I'm playing as Peach, but I'm talking as Waluigi, and that really confused me for Paratrooper Plunge, because I immediately thought it was Waluigi. Daisy cheating now? No. She's just lucky. They say. Oh, I gotta switch to my, like, creepy narrator from a horror movie voice. <clears throat> They say, when you play as Waluigi, you become Waluigi. That's not very good. That sounds more like the Honest Trailers guy, to be honest. That's not good. Sorry, Waffle. <laughs> After high school, Waluigi took up to being a TV show judge. What kind of judge, you might ask? Well, none other than judging people's... Let uh, chat fill in the blank for that one. Oh, you hear me rustling the plastic, don't you? That's Boone's favorite sound. Rustling plastic like this. To him, always means food. So, that's when he comes running. Flavors. So he's a cooking show judge. Or a cannibal.
Peach, not a Waluigi. You just got out of the box, Waluigi. thing is that was like 11 times today that counter was like at two or three when i started at 20 years old waluigi bought a lamborghini unfortunately he was scammed because a guy on craigslist only sold him a model lambo This drove Waluigi into a deep funk, wondering who he could trust in life. That is, until he met. Who did he meet? Who did he meet, chat? Let's fill in the blanks. Yeah, I'll get it. Two Wario's. He met his mom again. I thought... No, in this story, Waluigi's an only child. So that's right. That is, until he met Wario. This, this sounds like a bunch of Mad Libs. Should we make, like, the Waluigi Mad Lib adventure? Mad Libs, Waluigi's Biography. <laughs> oh, great. Good job, Daisy. Waluigi something he would never forget and would earn his trust with just a single word. That word was <laughs> Fart Rocket. Waluigi knew Wario understood him and his entire life with just the utter mentioning of that word. Then the two became inseparable. They blanked together. What did they do together? Fill in the blank. They, they did some kind of verb together. They sang together. In fact, they did it all across the country. All other singers were no match for Wario and Waluigi. No other bands knew they stood a chance once they heard the infamous name of Wario and Waluigi's band. I lost. 
lost my car keys. Fuck. Wait, are you saying that, like, as a part of the story? Like, that's their band name? Or did you really lose your car keys in real life? The lore depends on it. Yeah, yeah, to which, which one? The band name, okay. Uh, Bing would be too abreast this time. I'm gonna see if I can carry on with this story. They were so rock and roll, even though they had no car keys. They somehow managed to tour... Blank. Where did they tour? Oh yeah, the more random Mad Libs, the better this story will be. Supposedly. Toward Antarctica. Their prestige was growing by the day, being the only band in existence to tour Antarctica. until their new hit single blank 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 absolutely devastated their career their new hit single was three the title had three words in it I hate music. <laughs> this absolutely confused and devastated their insert number of fans, causing them to rebel. Wait, how many fans did they have? They were the first band to tour Antarctica. But when their new single, I Hate Music, came out, their two total fans gave up on them. <laughs> One of them was a polar bear. What was the other? Or who was the other? Oh, poor Waluigi, he's crushed. Literally, his band broke up, and then uh, he got crushed by Mario. There's so many stars already. God damn. So, their only two bands, <laughs> their only two fans were Wario, who was in the band, and Polar Bear. <laughs> this, of course, means Waluigi did not like his own band. Which makes sense, because his new hit single titled I Hate Music caused Wario to go into a funk 
even question the bands. <sighs> Merit, I guess. This tore Wario apart. He became addicted to a certain kind of food that normally one would not be addicted to. became addicted to IHOP butter. Luckily, the International House of Pancakes was in fact international. There was only one in Antarctica, but it was enough for him. Ooh, new record. Meanwhile, Waluigi, even though he wasn't a fan, was devastated at the loss of his friend Wario. He began sniffing blank, even though sniffing blank had absolutely no smell or effect on him at all. Coins. <laughs> what did Waluigi begin begin to sniff? You know how some people sniff like glue. Waluigi, what was he sniffing? Even though it had no smell and had no effect on him whatsoever. He just wanted to feel something. Water. <laughs> I think his armpit would have a smell. Especially after the devastation of his band. If you sniff if you sniff water, don't you kinda drown? Oh we could we could make that work. He began sniffing water until he realized he couldn't breathe. His heart stopped. He thought he was a goner. But who knew, down in Antarctica, his favorite celebrity would save him. That celebrity? Wario celebrity, he had two fans. <laughs> One of them was him. <laughs> the other was a polar bear. Mario. Yeah, 
Alright, I guess we can count Wario as a celebrity. He is a celebrity in Antarctica. He probably has more fans than Waluigi. <laughs> He's a fan of himself, and a polar bear is a fan of him. Maybe for a separate reason, but we don't know that yet. Ah, Michael Jordan? Can make that work. Michael Jordan? Said Waluigi hastily. What are you doing in Antarctica? Michael Jordan replied. No, we don't need more stars. This one could be as long of an answer as you want. What's Michael Jordan doing in Antarctica? Probably filming Space Jam 2. <laughs> Saving my favorite band. Waluigi gasped. Michael Jordan, his favorite celebrity, saved him because of Wario and Waluigi's band. In fact, saved Michael Jordan. I thought it was Waluigi again. The story is affecting my gameplay a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, Waluigi. You jumped right into me. This gave Waluigi newfound hope, as his band actually had three fans. He closed his eyes, made a wish, realized he had four. He was also a fan of his band. Thank you, Michael Jordan, said Waluigi. No need to thank me, said Michael Jordan. Who you should really thank is Blank. need to thank me, who you should really thank is me. <laughs> Waluigi gave him a nod and a smile. Before turning his back, he realized Michael Jordan might be crazy. He then closed his eyes and realized, wait, that's not Michael Jordan at all. It was my imagination. He opened his eyes again, turned back around, and realized the real person standing there was, in fact, <laughs> stories all over the place. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> ah, it was Michael Jordan. <laughs> when he turned around again, Michael Jordan asked, Did I say something wrong? Waluigi said no confused. This really was Michael Jordan. He was here in Antarctica. But with newfound hope, Waluigi sought out Wario to rekindle the band. I 
Hey, two tens. It was Mike. <laughs> That's the wrong Mike. <laughs> That's Mike Wazowski. I think we're talking about Michael Jordan. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Hannah gets me. That's so out of context that that does not gonna make sense to anybody. And she made it a quote. She truly understands me. That's so funny. Anyway. Oh, look! Anyway. Waluigi sought out Wario to rekindle his band. But he realized he needed more than just four fans. He needed at least blank. That does not gonna make sense. Correct. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna laugh so hard once I'm, like, wide awake and... Not that I'm, like, going insane, but once I'm a little bit more sane and I read that quote again, that's gonna be so funny. Do you have the key? Daisy, come on! <sighs> Wait, how many fans do does Waluigi need for his band for him to think that it's successful? It's like, we need more than four. In fact, we need at least blank. At least three. Just rereading that quote again, it makes me sound like I'm on the biggest, like, acid trip. That's so funny. Anyway, Wario looked at him confused. He's like, but we have four fans. We met our goal. What should we do different then? Waluigi replied, we need to tour more than just Antarctica. In fact, we need to tour someplace that nobody has ever toured. Wario looked at him confused. You don't mean... Waluigi said, I do mean. We need to tour... Blank. The United States. Wario looked back at Waluigi with intrigue and panic. Only big time bands toward the United States. With only three fans, he wasn't sure he could make it. But Waluigi, after being saved by Michael Jordan, had newfound hope, determination, and confidence. In only two words, he inspired Wario to tour the United States with him. Those two words were... Hey, sorry? I feel like you answered that quick. Like, that was something for something else. I like the United States. I'll let Waffle answer this one. What were the two words that Waluigi used to inspire Wario?
to tour the United States with him. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm going along with the flow. I have no idea what that flow is, but... Astronauts food. Come on, waffle. Or brass roses. Two words that would inspire Wario to tour the United States. Binglet said he'd let Waffle have the next few, but I think Waffle's still thinking. Uh, Mari, you need like nine more coins. Isn't it the second to last turn? Junk food. <laughs> I like I like junk food. I can make that work. Junk food, Wario repeated. Junk food, he repeated, with more as more of a question. Junk food, he finally said as a statement. In his head, this inspired Wario. But in his heart, he knew the only reason he wanted to tour the entire United States was to eat all the junk food possible. With newfound hope and determination, both Wario and Waluigi decided it was time to rename their band and make songs not called I Hate Music, but something more inspiring. Starting with their band name, they renamed it to Blank. Where is it? This one. Oh, freaking Waluigi beat me to it. <laughs> I still haven't found my keys. Wario asked Waluigi, isn't that too close to the name that we previously had? But Wario said, wait, no. Waluigi said no. This makes it sound like we're still looking for our keys. Like we haven't given up hope. Which is exactly what we did with our band. Wario with a big smile on his face turned to Waluigi, whispered in his ear, I love blank. That was the last words they spoke to each other in Dantarctica. Ah, yes. Gotta make sure you don't roll a zero. I love nothing. <laughs> wow. 
so with those being their last words spoken to one another, they made a beeline straight to America. They realized one thing. They didn't have blank. Even though it was very important. This bitch is gonna steal my star, and she just bought one. There's so many stars in this board. <laughs> they didn't have waffles. <sighs> Even though they were very important. <laughs> like a way to get there. I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna make them both that. <laughs> they didn't have waffles or a way to get there. They had realized halfway there that they didn't have a boat, they didn't have a plane, and they didn't have their favorite food. How did we get here? Wario asked. In the middle of the ocean. Waluigi was going to answer until something grabbed his leg. Don't touch my leg, Wario, Waluigi said. That's not me, said Wario. That's actually the blank that's been following us for 13 miles. Did I screw that up, or did Wario just grab his own leg? Telling this story, that this board went by faster than any other board I've ever, like, consciously realized. Wario grabbed his own leg, he just lied. God, less stars this time. So Wario just said, I didn't grab your leg, that was the Wario that's been following us this whole time. Waluigi thought the coldness of the ocean water has gotten to his head. We need to find land immediately before he goes completely insane. Just then, a miracle happened. Something fell from the sky, from an overhead plane. It wasn't exactly what they needed, but they knew it would help. Got promoted again. Ah, <laughs> yes, a car! <laughs> a car fell from the sky from an overhead plane that carried cars. <laughs> Waluigi yelled out, Quick, Wario, get to the car! We'll drive the rest of the way. Wario now 50% insane, had no choice but to comply. He swam to the car and got in. Uh...
Waluigi realize that there were no keys, but that's okay. This was a special car that didn't need keys. All it needed was blank. <laughs> they still haven't found their keys. They could have driven that car. Uh, they didn't need keys because this car only required keys. Wait. That was a special <laughs> that was a special car. That didn't need keys. Instead, it needed keys. Waluigi realized this might not actually be that special of a car. Wario jokingly said, Maybe we should change our band name again. Ha ha ha, said Waluigi, trying to fill all the despair in his life with at least a few chuckles worth of laughter. Then he realized Wario might have a point. Oh my gosh, come on, game. Oh, that's a 10. Oh, it's a 20. Still, come on. This board pissed me off. Uh, where was I? Oh, this is not board. This minigame pissed me off. Where was I? Maybe we should change the band name. Oh, yeah. Oop. Uh. Waluigi realized that Wario might actually have a point. Looks like you're bleeding. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. Well, right yeah. Ah, it's going. I'm making a third character. I'm uh, I'm making Mad Libs to try to keep myself awake and occupied. So far, um, Wario and Waluigi were. F the first band to tour Antarctica. They realized they only had two fans. One of them was Wario. What's their band name? Their band name was I Lost My Keys. So they're a metal band. <laughs> <laughs> um, then War or Waluigi lost like his confidence because he only had two fans. One of them was a polar bear. The other one was a member of the band. Um, so. <laughs> so, Wario got addicted to IHOP butter. Waluigi got addicted to... <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I'm letting my chat fill in the blanks. I'm just rolling with it, whatever they say. Uh, Waluigi got addicted to sniffing water. 
And then he realized that he was drowning. <laughs> because that's what happens when you sniff water. And that was when he realized that his... That's when he realized his favorite celebrity, Michael Jordan, was in Antarctica because he was the secret third fan of the band. A polar bear and Wario, who was part of the band. <laughs> so now they're on their way to Tour America. My brother was cutting his hair. He wanted a brief explanation. Um, Waluigi reached into his pocket and realized he didn't need keys to start the car. Because he had blank. Oh no, they might not. I might accidentally turn Pink Boo off. I'm gonna go with a map. I can make a map work. I We said earlier they didn't have waffles. <laughs> they were in the ocean without waffles. <laughs> they had a way to get to America. They realized halfway there that they were swimming. I'm gonna go with a map. That was the first thing Bingman said. When Waluigi pulled out his map, he looked real closely at it. And then it began to make so much sense. Why was there a plane flying overhead with cars in it? It was because they were less than 400 feet away from land. Ah, oh, yes! Okay, thank goodness. They got out to swim that last 400 feet as the car was sinking very rapidly. <laughs> what? Venezuela? I didn't put a, <laughs> I didn't put a new blank yet. Is that where they landed? <laughs> uh. I did it! I pushed him! <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, butt spot. <sighs> Alright, I didn't really make a blank yet, so I'm not going to use North Butt. I'm not going to use North Korea or Venezuela yet. Uh, what I will use, or what I will say, what will I say? I don't know yet. Perfect. While Luigi's gonna pass the bridge, then DK on, Mario off, me back on again. Um,. Waluigi and Wario both washed ashore. Oh, damn it! That's not what I wanted. Waluigi and Wario both washed ashore. Tired and spent. They collapsed to their knees, trying not to choke up trying not to choke on the last remaining water in their in their mouths and in their lungs. Wario was the first to open his eyes. He saw a young woman standing over them. A woman he recognized all too well. It was blank.
feel like this store needs more women. <laughs> what? Bowser? <sighs> Easy. Good job, DK. I don't think Bowser's a woman. I don't know if I can use that. Wario's ex-girlfriend from college. I think these are dogs. Oop. Oh, I wasn't even close. Ham's soup dog. Hold on. I promise, I promise I'll think of... Uh, something. Alright, I'll, I'll do Warrior's ex-girlfriend from college. What was her name, though? I, I would like a name. Oop. Thanks, DK. Alright, you got me, Waffle. That... that kind of works. <sighs> it was her last name, but that works. They're on a last name basis. <sighs> Bowser? Wario said. Questioning his very existence. What are you doing here? Where are we? She replied. You know exactly where we are. Wario said, I do. Bowser replied, yes. Isn't it exactly what it looks like? Wario said, I can't believe it. We finally made it to blank. Ooh, big brain Waluigi. No, never mind. It's gonna say big brain Luigi, but he didn't have enough coins. Ah, the infamous Los Vegas. I can't believe we made it to Los Vegas. Bowser replied, yeah, everyone always wants to go to Las Vegas. I hate the way they confuse us. Los Vegas is so much better. Wario, having studied Los Vegas his entire life, had no choice but to agree. What are you doing here in Los Vegas, Bowser? Bowser replied, isn't it obvious? I moved here with my boyfriend. Wario remembered his name. All too clearly. You mean you're still with blank? He asked. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> Butt spot just said butt angles. <laughs> Bowser Jr. <sighs> Wait, which one? 
I like both of them. They're like the same thing. Bowser is just dating Bowser. Or Bowser is dating Bowser Jr. They're, they're both weird. <laughs> this girl named Bowser is dating either Bowser or Bowser Jr. I like them both. I don't know which one's better. No! Go down. You fuck. <sighs> Alright, Waffle said Junior three times in a row. You mean you're still dating Bowser Jr.? Wario asked. Of course, said Bowser. How could I ever break up with my namesake? Wario thought he must be going even crazier. How is it that Bowser, who broke up with me for Bowser Jr., managed to find me and Waluigi wa washed up on the shores of Las Vegas? But he knew truth was stranger than fiction. But what was even stranger than the truth that was stranger than fiction? Oops, I thought it was Luigi. <laughs> Why, the very next thing that came out of Waluigi's mouth. What came out of Waluigi's mouth, chat? Wazowski? <laughs> I knew I was gonna have to use Mike Wazowski in this in this Mad Lib, so I just didn't know how. Confused and horrified, after Mike Wazowski exited Waluigi's mouth, he ran away, fearing for his life. Truth was, in fact, stranger than fiction, and that was the strangest thing Wario had ever seen. turned back to Bowser. And then said, can you help us to the nearest blank? We're starving. Where are they gonna go eat, chat? Consistency. Can you help us to the nearest IHOP, Bowser? Wario asked. Waluigi, still go getting over the shock that Mike Wazowski was in his mouth, said, We don't need to go back to IHOP. You'll just sniff all their butter. No, actually, he ate the butter. He was addicted to it. He didn't sniff it.
Uh, wait, I can make this go somewhere. Yeah, Waluigi said, we don't need to go back to IHOP. You'll just eat all their butter. Wario, annoyed that he would use his past against him, said, why don't you just go sniff some water? Because that seemed to be your favorite hobby when we were in Antarctica. Waluigi, ash more ashamed of his past than annoyed that Wario would use it against him, said, Why don't you come up with a new hobby for me, then? In a condescending tone, Wario did come up with a new hobby for him. Why don't you try blank? He said very distastefully. Ah. <laughs> Landmine defusal. <laughs> Fortnite. I'll take one of Buttspot's statements into consideration one of these days. Not that one. Waluigi was absolutely devastated. Because Wario knew that Waluigi's inspirational hero Blank was killed 13 days ago by a landmine. Who's Waluigi's inspirational hero? Who so tragically died via a landmine? Michael Jordan, but he just saved him yesterday. That's his favorite celebrity. Which could be his inspirational hero. There are no rules in butt. <sighs> I know the story makes absolutely no sense, but I am trying to make it have some sense. Unless they, like... It was unless they were stuck at sea for like 13 days. Right before they left, Michael Jordan was killed by a landmine. I guess that's plausible. Land on Wall Land on Luigi. You fuck. I wanted to crush him. Oh, that's actually good. Uh... Haluigi started to cry. He was reminded too soon about the death of his hero and the person who saved his life, Michael Jordan, via landmine. Wario knew that throwing that in his face
that it would upset and devastate Waluigi, but he said it anyway. Waluigi thought, how could Wario be so cruel at a time like this? Wario realized he had hurt his friend and tried to apologize. Waluigi said, I don't want to hear it. I'm more upset than that one time that blank. It's gonna be a long... It could be a long blank. But what's more upsetting than Waluigi's hero, Michael Jordan, dying via landmine in Antarctica? What a weird story, man. Yoshi stopped paying taxes by the time he was running out of toothpaste on a Sunday after watching football. Which one to use? Continue the story, then I'll pick which one. Uh, after I figure out how to go through this puzzle. Wario was shocked. He had he, he had not meant to hurt his friend Waluigi. By saying the landmine thing, knowing it was too soon, but he had no idea. It was just as bad to him. As when Yoshi stopped paying taxes. He never even thought Yoshi was even that close with Waluigi. But after seeing Yoshi get sent away, I guess it made sense to Wario. Bowser, realizing that this was not the most pleasant encounter with Wario after all this time, decided to try to break the ice. Do you guys want to go to the IHOP or not? She asked. Waluigi, still hurt by Wario's comments, replied, I would rather go with blank than with Wario.
Weirdly, I'm like doing the story and I'm like going the exact same pace as I usually would. Waluigi would rather go with Bowser Jr. Damn. Knowing how Wario probably feels about Bowser Jr. for stealing Bowser from him. That probably hurt his feelings like nothing else. Waluigi said he'd rather go to IHOP with Bowser Jr. than go with Wario. Wario is insulted and heartbroken. He said, fine. I don't want to see Bowser Jr. I don't want to see Bowser. Bowser, I cared about you like Waluigi cared about Yoshi. <clears throat> but Bowser Jr., since you're with... No, but Bowser, since you're with Bowser Jr. now, I can't help but feel a hole in my heart. As for you, Waluigi, our new band name should just be Blank, because this is over. <laughs> Blank is the <laughs> Blank is the new name of their band. Ah, yes. The classic Mad Lib switcheroo. Yep, let's turn that bitch back on. Our band should just be re be renamed Blank because this is over. Wario had only wanted to hurt Waluigi's feelings one last time, but Waluigi did nothing but agree. Their band was over. Now they were just two lost souls. Stranded in Los Vegas. With nothing but Bowser, Bowser Jr., and an IHOP. <sighs> oh, man. Waluigi turned to Bowser Jr. No, Bowser. Break. <clears throat> Waluigi turned to Bowser and said, I don't know you very well, but I need a place to stay while I'm here in Las Vegas. Hi, Waffle. Uh...
Bowser said, no problem, follow me. Waluigi followed Bowser to her home in Las Vegas. She walked through her front door and said, I hope you like it. It's blank by blank in terms of square feet. It's not much, but it's home. How big is her house? It's <laughs> six by nine feet. <laughs> the America tour. I think the dream is dead. Their band is over. They insulted each other a little too close to home, and uh, it got too personal. Six by nine feet, Waluigi said. What, do you live in an office for a company that sells blank? As a matter of fact, I do, said Bowser. Recliner remotes. Ah, yes. Waluigi, thinking of how oddly specific recliner remotes were, wondered why her office was so big. He said, I guess it's not much, but if you call it home, then I do too. I'm sure there'd be a, a spot in this story for overpriced butt nuts, but I don't know if I can find one. Uh... This is all, by the way, Waluigi's backstory. So Waluigi's the main character. I think Wario's just gone from the story now. This all started as Waluigi's biography. So now he lives in a six by nine office space with a woman named Bowser, who is dating someone named Bowser Jr., who may or may not be the actual Bowser Jr. Waluigi and Mike. I mean, Mike popped out of his mouth and then scurried away. I don't know if he wants to be a part of a band with him. <clears throat> That's where Waluigi made his home for the next blank years. He'll come back, don't worry. Okay. How long did Waluigi live in this office space with Bowser and Bowser Jr.? 75 years. Dang, Waluigi's got quite the story. Nothing happened for 75 years except he lived in an office space. Selling recliner remotes. 
No, he didn't even sell recliner remotes. That's just what Bowser did. I mean, Waluigi accepted his new living space as the office space of a company that sells recliner remotes. But he knew he had to get a job somewhere else. No longer part of a band, he realized that was his, never his passion. He found his true passion when he applied for blank. Yay! <laughs> a band? He found his new passion when he applied for a band. When he was promptly rejected after showing him his re after showing the band his resume, with their top single being named I Hate Music, they rejected him. But in his rejection, he discovered his newfound passion was, in fact, getting rejected. <laughs> He applied for bands all over Las Vegas. He even applied to be a part of a celebrity band with his two favorite female celebrities, Blank and Blank. We have one woman in the story and Waffle named her Bowser. <laughs> we need more actual female characters. <laughs> Even if they reject him from the band. Peach and, da <laughs> Peach and Daisy. I guess it makes sense, since this is, uh, Waluigi's life story. Oh my gosh, battle games, so many. <laughs> 50, come on. Butterflies again. Hello? Swipe? Even though he was rejected for Peach and Daisy's band, he did actually come up with their name. The Blanks. Oh my gosh, catch the butterflies before I lose! The Mario characters, the human people. <laughs> I like the human people. Waluigi helped give Daisy and Peach their new band name, the human people. 
And though he was rejected from being a part of the band, they went on to become very successful all over the world, not just Los Vegas. In fact, in a, upon naming the band, he realized that most people suspected them to be aliens trying to blend in, launching a global conspiracy theory against Peach and Daisy, making them wonder if they were, in fact, the human people. But seeing his, he was not part of the band, he had no interest in wondering what happened to them. Waluigi made such a good career out of getting rejected that he somehow made a living out of it. He was only paid blank an hour, but it was enough to get him by. Ah, frick! He was only paid six point nine thousand dollars an hour, but he somehow made it. <laughs> he somehow made it work. Oh, it's the last turn. You can't do anything. Oh, Luigi has nothing. He's gonna get awarded coins, and we're not gonna play the big balloon blast bomb bench or whatever it's called. Oh, he just made everyone else pay money. Never mind. Hi, Psycho. No, no rips yet. I got close once, but we're still good. How can how can I continue this Waluigi story? He made a living off of getting rejected. Made six point nine thousand dollars an hour. Uh, there was a time in Luigi's story. Where I was like one happening space or two away from losing the board. And I did not pay enough attention to know if I was in fact the winner of the happening star. I did. Like I won by one star and uh... Like 20 coins. But yeah, that was kind of monk ass. And, uh, now we're doing Mad Libs about, Lu about Waluigi's biography. Although I don't know where to go from here. One might wonder how Waluigi made so much money doing nothing but getting rejected. The truth is, he only worked an hour in his life. <sighs> okay, I made it work. Meaning in 75 years, he worked an hour of getting rejected and made $6.9,000 in that hour. Waluigi, still in the prime of his life, and after 75 grueling years 
of an hour's worth of rejection. Realized he must do something different. He realized the thing he hated doing the most was the thing he ended up being best at. What was that thing? It was blank. A quarter of the way through? Eh, I'm getting there. I'm still feeling good. I'm... This creative thinking that I'm doing right now is really helping me. Like, stay fresh and alert. <laughs> Driving cars in the ocean. Waluigi realized his life has never been the same since he tried driving that car in the ocean. His best friend Wario abandoned him. He moved in with Bowser, Wario's ex-girlfriend. He made as much a living as he could, doing what he knew best, getting rejected. But the thing that ruined his life the most, driving cars in the ocean, that's the one thing he knew he could do well, even though it was the one thing he thought he could never go back to. Until that fateful day. Vaxel is live. Mama Mia. I don't know who that is. Not that funny, Brett. I am doing a 40 plus hour speed run in one attempt. That's what I'm doing. What you doing, Lolazora? Damn it! The date was blank. Blank. 2000 and blank. Yeah, I'll try again. Working? Ah, feels bad. Well, there will be a time when you will stop working. And I will still be live. And then you will be asleep. And I will still be live. And you will wake up. And I... Will still be live. Ooh. Come back from the retired Osu player. Of course, it was six nine twenty sixty nine. Bingwood to answer my, like, number questions. <laughs> I want something more unique. <sighs> Otherwise, it's gonna be 69 or some kind of variant of 69. <sighs> Come on, piano! There we go. I need you to figure out, like, number fill-in-the-blanks. Because I know when it comes to numbers, everything that Waffle says will be 6, a 9, or some kind of variant of 6 and 9. Oh, <laughs> 420, 20, 20, 420.
He set some absurd records for his butt. Thank you, Buttspot. But I gotcha. You can go watch him while he's still alive. Chances are I'll still be here when he's done. I mean, you said 6'9", 2069, so I'll, I'll roll with that. Which would mean, 75 years later, dual monitor gang gang? Oh, hell yeah. Uh... That would mean the story began. In 1996. Or, not even, it didn't even begin in 1996. That's when Waluigi and Wario swam from Antarctica to Los Vegas. So, 75 years, he's made $6.9 thousand dollars. Getting rejected. Living in a six by nine foot office space. Which works with the timeline because Michael Jordan was alive in 1996. Not anymore. He's he died via landmine in Antarctica. But, yeah. Wow, this, that means this story is going on right now. Is this the hour that Waluigi is currently getting rejected for $6.9 thousand dollars? We don't know. The date? June 9th, 2069. Oh, I gotta remember these. Hold on. Cone ham, dog's ham. Alright. Thanks, Wario. Fry soup, fry soup, cone. Oh, that's not cone. That's dog. Yeah. Jet Wario. Dogs, fries. Everything's like right next to each other. Oh! Bergs. That side, Wario. Good job, buddy. Ugh. DK is one. Uh. The date? June 9th. 2069, the day Waluigi's life finally turned around. Waluigi knew he had to do the one thing he was afraid to do. The one thing that had ruined his life ever since he had tried it. Drive a car in the ocean. There was just one problem. Blink. Are you reading a fanfic? No, we're making a fanfic! We're talking about Waluigi's biography. didn't know how to drive. It made sense to Waluigi. The only time he had gotten into a car was when it was in the middle of the ocean. And all his life, he'd never had any keys.
realizing that he had gone without keys his entire life, he knew driving a car in the ocean could not be done. He found the same beach he washed up on 75 years ago to this day. Knelt down and began crying. That was when he heard a familiar voice from behind him, or so he had thought. The voice said, Blank. This guy's literally cracked. Is that a good thing? Oh my gosh, Murder has XQC emotes. <laughs> it was a familiar voice, Mike. Well, no, we need to we need to know what the voice said first before we find out who's the person that said it or the thing that said it. It's what this voice says that will drive the story. More butterflies. This is this would be such a reset. Oh my goodness, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. I'm going to butcher it and I hope you don't mind that I butcher it because it's just what's going to happen. Uh I'm going to try it after I catch some butterflies. like three times. I think they caught three butterflies in one swoop. Jeffrey Bulebakemakusi. <laughs> I'm going to call you Jeffrey. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. There's no way I said that, I said that correctly. said very dramatically what did he say whatever was just said the voice that spoke to Waluigi it changed his entire life he said dot 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 He audibly said from behind him dot 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 <laughs> Waluigi took his hands from his face turned around and realized it was red from Pokemon saying his signature phrase Red from Pokemon? Waluigi asked. What are you doing here in Los Vegas? Red replied again. Dot dot dot. Waluigi turned back around facing the ocean. I was hoping you'd be my friend, Wario. 
do you have any news from him? Waluigi knew he wouldn't say anything else than his signature catchphrase. Oh my god, these storms! Luigi said, I haven't seen him since that fateful day 75 years ago. It was also June 9th. I miss my friend, Waluigi told Red. God, there's so many battles. This would be such a reset if it were the actual mode. Just then, another familiar voice came from behind Red. This was another voice, Waluigi knew all too well. It was the voice of Blank. It was Mike! <laughs> it was Michael Jordan's ghost. <laughs> Waffle. I like Michael Jordan's ghost. It has it has Pokemon, it has Mario characters. Even in fanfic, Yoshi still doesn't pay his fucking taxes. Now, it has... Spirits. Waluigi turned and stood up. He realized it was, in fact, Michael Jordan's ghost. A lot more vocal than Red was. Than Red could ever possibly be. Michael, st Michael Jordan stared Waluigi straight in the eye and told him... Blank. I am not a great liar, so I don't know how excited I am. Or, uh, among Us, because I, if I end up being a murderer, I am not great at, like, trying to prove myself. <laughs> 